I am. I am. All right, let's play. I'll leave Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna let this fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am, dude. I. It's gonna be fun, boys. Fucking hate the yeah. guy, but I'm so close to just being like, who the fuck else do I vote for? I know. Yang, Yang, is, really Yang isn't gonna make it. No. He is gonna make it. No. You are crazy. What I'm scared of is like Elon let's say Musk, a Democrat does get into office yeah. and the economy just tanks immediately. Dude, uh, chaos. They can't. It will be like, fucking chaos. If the moderates it'll be could such just... a complicated history lesson, <laughs> right? Like I don't know how the fuck we're gonna educate ourselves right. on the Trump thing, right? It's like okay, yes, he he was a fucking total asshole. Yeah, but he saw, things were going well shit for some <laughs> <laughs> And not only were things and when going he left, well, it went to shit again. <laughs> they, it's, they, they, made him, they made him seem like a fucking hero because they set it up with yeah. he's Hitler, it's the Gestapo, it's he's the worst person that. And then things went well, and not even are they, they're going well enough, right? Like, but because you said it, you prefaced it with. It's gonna be the worst thing ever. It's like you made him look right. so there's, much better than so you needed to make him look. look. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Bill Maher said it very good. The only thing the Democrats have to do is not look Crazy. crazier yeah. than Trump. Which is and of course, they're fucking failing. It. Shapiro's. It's because they drew. Yeah. All right, all right. So here, 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 here. I think yeah. we're about to actually go because okay. I do have a point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Everybody keep talking. And we're talking, and, uh, uh, and that's you know, how we do it. Breasts, you know, breasts okay, think thinking about breasts matters. recently. I think everything. Talking about breasts, thinking yeah. about breasts, really. Sometimes I'll be eating a chicken dinner, and I'll just focus on the breasts. I'm actually tired. I'm tired why don't, why don't you tell them, while, while I get the angle, why don't you tell them about the, the nurturing breast? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a story. <laughs> So, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I once had the opportunity to be with a nurturing breast. And it, Lucky man. It gave me nutrition. <laughs> it kept me fed, and I was able to grow and develop because, because of, the, of the breast. The nurturing breast. <laughs> the breast nurtured me. It's, you know, it's not always a s- sexual, rubbery... <laughs> what breast were you messing around with? The rubbery, <laughs> the rubbery oh, rubber. breast, nurturing. One. That feels like a bag breasts of breasts are nurturing and rubbery. <laughs> nurturing and rubbery. <laughs> it's like they're like a bag of sand. <laughs> Miles, how would you have describe you ever a felt a breast before? <laughs> bag of sand. Bag of sand. Yeah. No, nurturing and rubbery. Have you ever that is breast before? That's probably down there with bag of sand. Yeah. <laughs> nurturing. I don't know. How would you describe the texture if not rubbery? I don't know, actually. Rubbery isn't that like Brett, I guess lot. rubbery's a little too hard. I'm maybe. make I'm making fun of it, but see yeah. it's got it's got weight, but it's also so God. soft. Already my girlfriend can't listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't started yet. Sorry, girlfriend. We kinda we kind I mean, we sort of have. Oh, okay. Breast. Breasts. Yeah, I mean, we are recording. All the audio and the thing is good. It's fine. Let's, yeah, we're good. We're fine. Let's, let's yeah. start on our. There's a part of me more that just... highbrow note than that. Jesus. Excuse me. Oh. And this one right behind me, this piece of light, whatever. Can we we're start keep it on a highbrow note, please. Can we, can, can we please? I'm gonna take yeah, immediately one of these Miller High Lifes. Lifes. Yeah, I'll have a Miller High Life. I would. I would drink a Miller High Life. I'm not sure what the German imposter is going here. Uh, there is it. Oh, with the worst definer? We'll bring him in later. This is not a worst definer. It's a Wienstefaner. Wienstefaner. All right, so I can explain why I chose Miller High How can I not? Oh. Oh, you know what it is? My mic has been recording fine. I just hit the volume. Just the volume on my on your mic. headphones. Oh. No, it's like blasted on that. Oh, it was shit. the specific... And it, and also the click track is going. Am I good here? Do I need to move I don't on? need to... I don't need you, to you fucking... You never told me what to do. You're and fine. I feel you, a little. I'm, I'm you guys nervous. are just fine. I'm very nervous. You're just fine. All right. Click while recording is off, so I don't have to listen to all that shit the whole time. And Miles, try to try to not. Just like try to be better. Just, 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 just be, be better. better. Just be better. Just, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Filthcast.
cast. Whoa, the filth cast. Hey. Or or possibly wasted potential. Someone Pop- tell us which name to go with because this is this is at this point a chore. You can't you can't commit to a name. I can't no, but the thing is is the the filth cast is because you heard the thing about filth cast. Like the guy the guy you listened to the last podcast. Oh right, yes. About the he was taken down because for being hateful by the uh, Southern Poverty yeah. Center. Yeah. I wish yes. I could hear yes, what's the center going for on Southern Poverty. Like, we are continuing their legacy. <laughs> you know, I think no one should have it. And flagged. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. I'm As gonna... you can see, we understand poverty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there could be no doubt about that. It's all about the illusion. I will say Miller High Life, believe it or not, was probably the first beer I ever enjoyed the taste. Yeah. In college. I, I remember, like, it was always Natty Light. And one I time I got Miller, Miller High Life and I drank and I was like, this is like a little bit sweeter. Yeah. And, like a little more refreshing. Like, and I it's has, not a bad beer. And I literally was all about it. I was I'd, like, tell flavor. people, my favorite beer is Miller High Life. And they'd be like, ugh. And they'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. I mean, that's a weird favorite beer. See, it's not no, but anymore. It's my, my <laughs> uncle, my, or my, my, dad's, my dad's cousin, he's a big Miller High Life guy. He's one of these guys in Pasadena. Who is like, you I know. I fucking hate those guys in Pasadena. <laughs> Tired of them. Like, oh, Pasadena guys. Always, 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 always sucking Pasadena around. <laughs> in a few weeks. He has this beautiful old house. Yeah, isn't your family from Pasadena? Pasadena? Yeah, no, they were like part of the people that like started Pasadena. Pasadena guys. My dad grew up in Altadena and like never oh, went Altadena to LA. Is beautiful. Altadena is one of the most beautiful parts of LA County. That's like, where my family's it. from. Right by the foothills. That's where the Fishers are Gorgeous. From. Never been. It's pretty. Uh, escape the filth. Are you uh, are you from here? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised in uh, San Fernando Valley, oh, okay, Woodland cool. Hills. He's the yeah. only actual uh, of the three of us. He's the only real LA person. This is my Yang Yang hat. <laughs> I enjoyed the shirtless picture. I enjoyed the subtle like reveal of the shoulder. <laughs> oh, did you? Did you could tell that I had no shirt? Yeah, I could tell you intentionally wanted to take a picture without a shirt on. <laughs> no. I just Come had no on. shirt on. You showed a little bit of shoulder. Like, I'll, I'll give him a little bit You're of using Andrew Yang's nope. platform to generate your, your modeling career. Your <laughs> I, I thought, like, okay, Soft he's showing that he's naked with yeah. the Yang hat. That's it's cool. Like, that, yeah, like, it's like, like it's revealing? It's like feeling sexy. Yeah. <laughs> you actually <laughs> think Yang is going to win the primaries? I do. Not That's, a chance in is, hell. Right. You guys, you guys, you guys. I mean, I like him. I like him, too, first, actually. First of all. If he did win, could you imagine him having to live up to giving everyone $1,000 a month? It almost doesn't Pain matter. Yes. Yeah. Well, so far, the only thing I've heard, I haven't like done extensive research, but it sounds like his one way that it's going to pay for it, he's going to say, Amazon didn't pay any taxes, no, so we're going to we're gonna use... We're going to have he, them pay for it. Basically. He's talking like, about putting a, big v, corporation. a VAT tax. I was going to say, it. yeah, he's... A VAT tax, which, value, which value most other tax. countries have oh, okay. at this point. What would that actually do? do you, have you read into that? I mean... Uh, just that, like, certain luxury items and like, uh, and, and stuff. Like Miller Lite? And, and other, and like Miller Lite. Hmm. So, in other words, it not would mean more taxes, here. but it would not be an income tax. It would be uh, a tax on certain corporations that are likely to continue growing and having a bigger and bigger influence on society generally. Um, and then the VAT would be uh, put in place, which all the countries in Europe do. It's a value-added tax. So, it's, it's an extension of a sales tax. Okay, but what's it? What's it on, and how's it different, and how much? Because I've heard him; he's one of the few politicians in the race right now who actually talks about his plans for what he's doing, which is interesting. But for as much Elizabeth as I've heard Warren him talk too. about it, but she's bought into too much. Exactly. I'm I'm done with her. No, me too. Done with <laughs> Get her. Get out of here. Me but too. like, but it's just a Trump win, right? It is Trump. I mean, win. almost all of them are a Trump win, win yeah, but totally. Elizabeth Warren, no way. I agree. But what is what is I mean, what is the deal with about. his? Do you know anything about it? I mean, I don't... Just I've, like a little, Jesus. With Andrew Yang? I need to put yeah, my just, hair back on a butt. Well, honestly, oh when I've heard him in the debates, he, he says, when people ask him, like, how are you going to pay for it? Yeah. He always mentions Amazon and how they pay zero income tax. Right. And so you tax the multi-billion dollar corporations. Right. Now pay. But if you think, like... So there's, what, 350 million people in the country? How Something many like people that, yeah. over 18 do you think... Well, that's, that's what I'm... The population is. I'm like, okay, even... 
probably let's, how many how many, out of the 350 million people, Max? How many do you think are adults? 240 um, million, probably. Let's say 240. It's into million. 200 million. So 240 million times a thousand a month. No, 12, so times a thousand a month. A year. Twelve thousand a year. Or twelve thousand a year. It's a few through. It's a few trillion dollars a year. A year. So how much a month? It's probably a trillion dollars a month. That's well, an expensive program. I, the I mean, that's millions. Then it, you add three zeros. Yeah. The way he's talked about it, I actually don't. I don't get the same feeling from him as other candidates, which is why I like no, him. No, I like. He's natural. I feel the, the same way about Buttigieg. There. Buttigieg. No, like he, just kind of a natural leader to me. Buttigieg is like a benevolent. He person. kind of bought into the BS. I think. But that, that's that's the show. problem. Here's the thing: is, is that Yang, Yang is doing exactly what I've just been waiting for someone to do. There is this center lane that is not center in right. as much as it's. Like milk toast. It's just like there are serious problems that whether you're on the whatever side of the aisle you're on, we're like running towards the iceberg, and you guys are still like yelling about the drapes <laughs> on the fucking in in the. Well, in that's the that's why people speak. like him is because he actually has an eye towards. He's actually paying attention to the future and saying, "Look, what's gonna happen is a, millions of jobs are gonna be automated away." And we need to be paying attention to that. So even if you don't agree with UBI, he's the one candidate who's... And that does seem to be, like, the central issue right now. Right. right? It's and freaking everybody Do you believe this? Do you, do you believe it's as catastrophic as he's saying? I don't um, know. Yeah. I don't, oh, I believe... Yeah, I don't well, know either. Here's what, I, here's what I know, is that there are a lot of people, even if it's not as catastrophic, even but the tech companies do believe this. Elon Musk really does believe this, and it, like, bothers him. Right. Did you watch that thing on Joe Rogan? I Lots did. Of, lots of things I, yeah. Him, I, think, I yeah. watched him not inhale I, the joint. Yeah. He didn't... You didn't think he inhaled? I know he didn't inhale. He went... Oh, really? He didn't actually... He did that face thing, you know, that's now like an iconic a photo. Meme. Yeah. yeah. He's like... Which is only... See, that's <laughs> the thing is, they don't get it. They don't get it. And this is why one of the things that the last... The last debate... Like, the next thing is... Everything is meta. What do you mean? Like, uh, like I mean, if you think about it, like him, him, like okay, for example, like he broke the f- Andrew Yang broke the fourth wall during the presidential debates, mm-hmm. and now every because everybody by making has a the reality TV by saying, comment, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's just like look, and then and, and we're the, on TV right and now. And that and video that up. I came right, right, like, okay, yeah. So he's yeah, he's, he's like, the big what talk you, was I didn't have a tie, meta on meta, yeah, on meta. I didn't have yeah. A, yeah, right, and then he said in the in the in the other video. That I that I put up, he was talking about, and when Cory Booker tried to <laughs> butt in on <laughs> that, oh, that sure. motherfucker. Oh, that was so disgraceful. Uh, you know what bothers me? It's embarrassing you know, to you watch. You know what bothers him, me man. about Cory Booker? It's like here's a guy whose his parents were like from a time where things were so difficult right. for black folks, right. and they became executives at IBM. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Like his parents were. Badass. No, and he's done some very commendable things in his career too. I mean, I know there's controversy, but I mean, I think he was a he's done some good things for New Jersey. You know, I all, I don't know too I don't, much I don't about really know much his, his career. Yeah. But well, there's like I controversy, wish. but I think he definitely turned the city around a bit. I just no, can't. Well, whenever he he's, 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 he's got the problem of whenever he talks, I'm just kind of like. Dude, he's never saying you. anything. Uh, phony. That I just shit. don't believe you. That's what I'm saying. That face he makes that like. It's, it's like that. That ben, ben Shapiro so it's like, him, That's his angry eyes. Yeah, he's like, yeah angry that's what I'm eyes. saying. It's like, Greeny, you're drinking the cool. <laughs> what flavor is this? Will be like? my Spartacus moment. Obviously, grape is my favorite yeah. flavor. <laughs> Nick DiPaolo said that. So oh, dude, out. Nick DiPaolo. Like, yeah, he's been killed. Oh, he said that. He, he goes on Twitter. He goes on Twitter. Cory Booker says, "You drank the Kool Aid. You don't even know what flavor it is. Was it grape?" <laughs> I don't know, Nick DePaul's jumped off the deep end of everything. He's got a little angry. He, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I, I like crazy. him. I his, always enjoyed his comedy. I like him too. His newest special. His answer was great. He is he on the video. Saw, I did. See, right. he saw it's, you understand it's a stereotype. Yeah, Black exactly. Yeah. But he knows, and he's sitting there like, "Oh yes, my it favorite flavor was great. It was great." This guy, he's no, just yeah, he's just pandering like a dick. Yeah. Just dude, your family made it. Yeah. You're fucking bad. Just be who you, you know, are, I think, dude. Though, I think all these politicians... That's such a better just these, example these to politicians just were born, Americans generally. They were born into an era before social media, before 24-hour news cycles. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't... They don't... It, it's changed because of that. Like, authenticity is has become a new and much more marketable phenomenon. 
the new version of authenticity. You know, trying which, to find it whatever exactly way you can. because the void it. that most people experience right now is, the only authentic one is fucking Trump. Trump. Yes, exactly. Yes. How crazy is that? He's authentically disgusting. That's where we are. <laughs> yes! That's where we are. No, but like even like everyone predicted, like during the Kavanaugh hearings, everyone was like, oh, Cory Booker and Kamala Harris just made their run for presidency. Yeah. Like everyone predicted right during those hearings when Kamala said, no, I'm asking the questions. And when Cory was like, this is my Spartacus moment. Spartacus moment. Like they, everyone predicted so right there, oh, they're going to run for president. And that's exactly what they did. And the two of them are buddies together. They, yeah. they kind of they came are. up. Kamala is and they're so both much phony. more impressive. Do you guys think, I, just, uh, I think they both are do you guys phony. Think Kamala, I so, hate, oh, they're both totally okay. phonies. Right before, before that last debate, phone. right before that last debate, you remember I was like, dude, my money, my money is on Kamala. And then I think Tulsi Gabbard, my girlfriend, swoops in and murders Kamala Harris, right? So he tweeted about it. So yeah, keep going. Yeah. Nice. So, do you think that Kamala Harris can recover from that? Because no. I, I well, still think she kind of can. Nope. Yeah. Here's the thing: it's all disingenuous. Because I mean, the job Kamala Harris had, but no one cares. She had to prosecute. She had to prosecute marijuana. I mean, it's not like she could have been like, "I refuse. I'm stepping down." I mean, it's kind of like. A little unreasonable, but at the same time, to go on a radio show and be like, oh, I would smoke and listen to Tupac and Snoop Dogg. It turns out, those albums came out while she was prosecuting yes. people for marijuana. Yes. So that's really phony. Yeah. And what did it for me, I always kind of liked her, the first debate when she said, people don't want a food fight. They want to know how we can bring food on their tables. Yeah. I, right there, I almost threw up. Fucking and I was like, okay. Disingenuous. She literally Boom. just... Strategize it. She was like, "Okay, I have this line. I'm gonna put it in right here, and let's mm-hmm. get the fucking momentum, yep. baby." Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. well, she's she, an actor. She, I think. See, I think she can survive because it's very clear from the way that that second debate was staged that, like the the media and the you know, ooh, the conspiracy, whatever, they want her to be. They want her the candidate. So I think she'll be able to bounce. Right. Back. They did. She got the most. Airtime. But they That's also want I mean. Mayor Pete. But here's the thing. They put her right what, next to Biden. I like Mayor Pete. Here's, I do. here's 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 He didn't go on Ruben and that hang made on. me angry. Here, here's my no, exactly. Here's here's my thing with Mayor Pete. Mayor Pete Smart guy though. Could have been the guy. Yeah, just hang on. He could have been the guy. But then I saw there was this moment where I saw him on Bill Maher and I saw him talking about certain stuff. He was like, They hear you, Bill. They hear what you're saying. Like he had this Bill Maher really... has a way of really intimidating these guys. I mean, he is pretty brutal. Bill Maher, which but I the thing love. Is, is, I love. Is no one he... is shitting on the Democrats more than Bill Maher. Yeah. No, from the left in but, particular. From yeah. the exactly. Left, correct. And I will. I, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. Um, like he. Something he... controversial that about is, to be that's, said. That's exciting. By the way, yeah. No, I'm saying. Know, breasts, yeah, yeah, I thought the breasts. Breasts. breasts, breasts it breasts. seems to be. I. I. I'm. Never mind. I. Sh- I, I should talk about it. Yeah, you should. But I might eventually. But it just seems like I keep I keep being Suspense. I keep being I keep being I like I sent a tweet to Bill Maher. Just said, holy like, basic, shit! Calling Wait, what? No, stop. <laughs> let's let's not do this. Halt the podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, no, okay, let's not do it. No, we're kidding. What you sent a tweet yeah, to yeah. Bill Maher <laughs> about the the Democrats are as it was right after the hearing where the Kavanaugh hearing. The cap or the hearing where they where it became obvious to everybody who was paying attention that the Democrats were just lying, just playing a game. Hmm. And Bill, who'd been buying into the whole, um, he's like, where he'd been buying into the whole mainstream media thing. He'd been buying into the corporate media. He sent out a tweet where he was like, "Wait a second, something's going on." And I remember, and and I I, I put it out a, a tweet. I said. Um, I said it. It seems like the Democrats are as are as post truth as uh, they often ac- accuse Trump of being. Um, I hope we all learn from this be- um, in the long run because it will be better for the whole country. And he liked the tweet. And then, oh, yeah, was and, a, then a and then, and then, but then what was weird? But but this is the controversial. Oh part. right, the, I think you told me. But but and, and I'm doing this for a couple Wait, of what's reasons. The a a I don't I don't. Stop. What's the controversy? He unliked, he unliked it. it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well. But but he may not have... But, hair but on my it's arm. Pop, but, but I'm saying... <laughs> my God. No, but I'm, but I'm saying that what is a, a big... Two-faced that's a bigger fuck. deal than you think. Piece of shit. <laughs> real time, Zach my is ass. over here laughing. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, What's my friend Zach is laughing. 
Meanwhile, all the shit that everybody thought I was crazy for always keeps Dude, coming that, happening. His like so, was shadow banned. Yeah, he's, that must he's have been what? It. His yeah. like. His like. No, maybe you think he unliked it. I think oh, I think he realized it was a liability for him, and he unliked it. I don't think I either mean, that or. And, like and I've said tweet. this, and I said this in a story. I said it's either that or I dreamt it. No, you know what happens. So, so it's possible I, I dreamt sometimes it. Sometimes likes stop showing up. Like they're even there. But yeah. then for some reason there's like some glitch and there's, there's whatever. Been some really but there's been times where but, it'll say like three likes and then I shit. And then I it. click on it and there's only like two likes. Can yeah, you like, listen to What your, happened to that third here, one? Let's do well, hey, here, let's do it. Hey, my people, levels are good. We're not. Uh, well, let, I just want to hear many people where. people liked your tweet though? That, that tweet that you sent to me? Only Bill Maher. Yeah, okay. So I don't think he saw it as a liability. Um, but who the fuck's going to go searching? Well, actually, I shouldn't put anything past no, no, anybody no, listen these to days. It. Listen to it. Hang on. Start talking. Like, just wait, start, just start talking. Like someone. Oh, dude, you weren't even using the mic the whole time. No. Oh, oh come on, oh, shit, man. Shit, dude. It's okay. You still have the. Here. It was still. This. I was talking into this. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be on the mic. Don't be you on. Let me put the recording level up. One. Input level. Yeah, yeah fix your shit. shit. I'm gonna keep listening. Fix that shit. Fix that shit. Fix that shit. Yeah. Breast. 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 Keep going. <laughs> More gain. Or also like turn up the volume to like a normal level, but I don't think I don't think Bill Maher is is worried about liking the filth LA's tweet. Breast. No, Breast. but he Breast. is worried about uh, having Breast. That's not Breast. I'll get back into that in a second. I'm interested in it. I guess I'll just Breast. And by the way, this is Breast. all hypothetical. Sit here and I, I, I just think I look, I'm just some some guy on the internet. Maybe I maybe I hallucinated this entire thing, which is not really my testing. MO. One, two, three. How does that sound? It sounds pretty good. It's it's yeah, only it's in one channel. Negative though. twelve. Well, yeah, that's because it's it's only plugged it, into one. It's channel. only plugged into one channel. Yeah. But I can you just can make, make that it mono. And post. Yeah. yeah, I can make it. Sure I'm there you go. Yeah. Right? Here, get yeah, this. Uh, get this crappy German. No, yeah, it'll just copy. Out of here. I don't. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's. It's ruining totally the fucking delicious. You German can change beer, it to stereo. Beer That's what I mean. Yeah, sorry about that. About time to have a Miller uh, um, Miller High Life. Here, um, should we start over or the keep levels? going? No, we're, no, we always keep going. This is tradition. Yeah. <sighs> um, it's the film, you know. <laughs> I will say the only thing with that mic is that is that is a mic for. People who speak right into the mic. Yeah. Well, so, unless you just um, so I would at least just crank the game as close to you as you can, or just crank the fuck out of it, or just how about that, or just jack the is game. How high that? is the game? Because I mean, I can hear you, but you're just not going to sound nearly as good as us. Well, or actually, worse. turn up the volume all the way first. Let me just hear the volume. Start talking. Okay, so th this is the recording level. I'm I'm That's perfect. coming up. Yeah, it's like even a little high. I'm like getting up to negative four dB. This is so boring. I'm sorry. This is exciting um, content. <laughs> okay, so hold on. now I'm gonna turn up the would. turn it up to where it was in. But you're be you no. It is. Do you want me to adjust the headphone volume for you? Uh, that would be great. Okay, because the recording volume's right. Press. Right? So yeah. So how does this look? Yeah, I'm Press. coming in, but really around good. negative twelve, negative six. Breasts. Is no, that okay? That's fine. That's fine. All right. That's Breasts that really nurture. Good. Fuck. Nurturing. I lost all my confidence. <laughs> now my <laughs> now my confidence <laughs> is fucked shot. up majorly. <laughs> I mean. Right. Okay. It, all right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We Sorry about that. What the fuck is this Bill Maher bullshit? Again, I don't think he would unlike. I don't it think doesn't would, make any sense to me. Well, here's the thing: you must like, have hallucinated. No, because I. You that know, is the that's Occam's razor right there. It's hallucination is I'm the simplest to, explanation. I'm not. I'm not one to hallucinate. I've seen you hallucinate. Have you? Yeah, I saw you talking to some dude who wasn't there the other day. It was weird. <laughs> Freaked me the hell out. I want to hear about this. Yeah, it was. I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> obviously private information, but. No, but I, here's what I do. You know how like your phone. Uh, well, my phone is what's recording this right now. But your phone, if you hit a notification, it like opens up. Yeah. Um, all of a sudden, I just woke up and I looked at my phone, and it was just like Bill Maher liked your tweet, and I pushed that and looked at it. And I was like, oh shit, Bill Maher liked your tweet. But now, because what was the I, what was the tweet again? 
What did it say? Just I can like, go. I can find the tweet. I don't care about the specifics. Like, uh, he said, like the Democrats are actually as dishonest as the people they. I said there is post truth. Yeah. Oh, as post truth as Trump. Yeah. Yeah. There, there. I said they're uh, there. They appear to be as post. Why do they not? Why do they not? What are the forces within the Democratic Party that are preventing them as a party from just kind of unifying and understanding that concept? They are going to lose if they don't well, get it. It's probably because controversial, but they're trying to be fair and moral. I don't think. I don't think that's yeah. it at all. I think that no, their hands are tied. Because of financial incentives. No, but these young extremists, they're all about Oh, they're, they're having sure a huge influence, but they've the, been kind the of The DNC is as diverse as possible, which is great, but you need to make sure that there's checks and balances, that yeah. everyone's qualified, but it seems to be more, they're really going into identity politics. Yeah. They're and going that seems in to hard. be their main focus. Yeah. I have a I lot think of, the American people lot, are rejecting I, it a bit. I know what people are. Uh, of course, they're rejecting it, though. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's an obnoxious way to live. I've never, you know, what's it is. weird? It's just it's, like sto- it's fear mongering. Exactly. I've never. I that's not ever been my perspective. I never understand. I I, can't, I don't know that I can tap into the mindset of someone who sees the world through the lens of identity politics. Like it just doesn't. It doesn't make any intuitive sense. Well, I think me. a lot of people would say, "Well, that's because you're white. That's yeah. white privilege. You yeah. have the privilege no. of not yeah. seeing." Well, they'll look at us. Uh, that's dumb. See, here's the yeah. thing: is, is there I, could I've be learned, some yeah. validity learned, to but, that, but, but there, still, there, this is there not is an element of it. Yeah. The thing yeah, is, yeah. is that I can, I can to I white can, privilege or what? Yeah, like yes, about like the, the way I can, the example I, can I always put give that frame is, on. I absolutely can. You remember when you were a kid dude, and, and you saw the presidents on the wall? Like there was like a list of all the presidents. Never, yeah. right. They were all white dudes, and we didn't even think about. It. We're like, oh, we're okay. like, oh, I could yeah. be that. But like a woman, yeah, it yeah. does. A black it does kid, have an impact. They look at that and they say, oh wow. How no does it have an impact on there? now? But because it, it's still mostly I mean, it's still that. mostly been like all white people. It's just it's showing like the institutionalized. But the thing, thing is, it's, it's not, not as right or wrong as it used to be. But it definitely is. It is. It is an inherent privilege. It's also like a <coughs> yeah. cultural thing. Like for example, the way I speak. I don't know I that it's. The, I don't know that it's. A, it's like I play music in L. A. And frankly, I wish I was a chick. Because chicks get a lot more gigs. Right. They well, do. There's there's chick privilege in LA music. Yeah, but it's just like skinny privilege. There is there's chick. That's the problem. Is that the privilege, maybe maybe the privilege, the, there's fat disadvantage. I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> there's no fat privilege. There's no. Did you know maybe, there's fat studies couple. now? <laughs> fat studies, yeah. Fat studies, yeah. I come in and I I'm like the subject. And they, you know, say okay. So well, how did you, you could get you could get easily. Way. I mean, you could get somebody to finance a P. P- you could be a doctor. Okay, maybe it's yeah. maybe it's the doctrine. Sorry, maybe sorry. it's the doctrine oh, associated. I didn't even get the joke with I, the language of white privilege that I. Maybe that's why I bulk at it because I understand because that there's a concept a of like true. there is something to the concept of white privilege, like or of course any there any is. kind of privilege based on just your immutable characteristics, like. But it's like when it's just the way that it's thrown around, the way that it's used. Of course. I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it. Well, it's been weaponized. It's like any good thing because people can't handle like complex information. Most of them simplify it. It's so black and white. And they create like a tire. Yeah, it becomes black and white. Everyone codifies everything. No one can think complex about it. Which is hilarious because we have these. The thing thing is, is that I think a lot of people actually do think complex about it. It's just, it gives, uh, there's just the illusion that people are just simple minded morons because of things like Twitter and also just the, the fact that you're not like sitting face to face with someone talking like most of the people that you really oppose like if you just sat down with them and talked with them I th- it would be you know what I think I fine. think I think social media has see I, I, I don't want to say most people are simple minded most people are I, I say I think you could you could say that, or you could say I think most people are average. Because I, I whatever, think, I think that I, I feel the but same. But the problem way about is that myself, that the the people who can handle dangerous. the complex concepts have been dragged down most to the level. Most people don't read, dude. Yeah, exactly. What most yeah. people don't even pick up a but, fucking book. Yeah, but social most, media yeah, social yeah, media yeah. has made everybody feel like a they can they're a publisher. They're somebody whose thoughts matter. So the smart right. people have all been dragged down to the depths of the, let's say the simple minded folks, and. Now they're forced to kind of talk on their terms. You know, it's it's the yeah. conversation is yeah, no, there's no longer a separation. Complex. It's like it's provocative no, but now. The thing, yeah, it's interesting. It's like, Whoa. Well, that, yeah. Here's the no, but here's the problem is that the institutions that actually do like the New York Times, for example, still like the people that write for the New York Times, they still read the New York Times every day. Yeah. They're really smart people and they're great writers. Some. Um some of them mm-hmm. are. 
But in order to get the job at the New York Times, there are certain views you have to hold. There yes. are certain yeah, things that yeah. you need to. I mean, none of this is like it's like a litmus test. It wouldn't be explicit. It would be something that's like emergent. It's just like a cultural thing. Right. So, I mean, at this point. I, I think at this point it's explicit. Is it? Do you? I mean, it probably is. Yeah, but see, I prefer yeah. New York Times over like <laughs> these fucking blogs you find on 8chan or something because New York Times, whether you know, I'm sure this is Why debatable. Why or? Because New York Times can, has to be held accountable. You know, there's legalities. These well, anonymous that's why, that's blogs. Why I go there for my these news. anonymous blogs. There's no like accountability, mm -hmm. and people because it's not mainstream media. People just eat it up. Well, see, that's the problem. And, like and that's New York Times. One you of the reasons sue I'm the New doing, York Times. Right. Exactly. The, the, the Except for they can still they can still print shit. Well, they that's have great just lawyers. Yeah, not true. not true at all. Yeah, and right. it's yeah, but, legitimized because yeah. it's in the New because York no one's Times. really holding them accountable. And it is a crime. Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, I, agree. I mean, libel yeah. is a crime. Yeah, um, yeah, but a lot a lot of times it isn't even there are lies by lies by omission or lies by you know you play there are a lot of very very the anonymous sources form, sometimes form, so, forms dude, of lies. So like Dear God, joke. do you have any sources with it's names? Like, yeah. <laughs> They're all like, anonymous. Yeah, like, how are we supposed to know that you're not just saying like? I feel like yeah. there is a battle I had my for friend the soul say this, of the New York Times. Well, see, in order for me to take your and anonymous would, source seriously, I, don't want I have to take the journalist seriously, right. and I don't take the journalist seriously. And the publication seriously. Also, just the, the the lens that they're looking at the world through is just confusing to me. The stories they choose to publish and the ones they omit, I'm just like. I'm I'm baffled by it. You well, know, but it's, you it's, can it's see sort the of narrative. Agenda. I started you know? getting it actually delivered to my del delivered to our house. And looking yeah, at it, and I remember what how was excited funny you were. Is that there was an implicit narrative every single morning? You could see the implicit narrative. Right. There's an, there is an implicit narrative going along. What Eric Weinstein is called the GIT, the, the gated institutional narrative. And it and and hashtag like, Weinstein rules. Weinstein. I don't know if I Weinstein fully buy rules. all this narrative. I fucking shit. love that guy. Yeah. Huh? I don't know when the term narrative started being used so much. It's like, see, the internet has really made everything way more confusing, for yes. better and for worse. Yes. Because now there's like an infinite number of sources. Anyone yeah. can yeah. be a source. Yeah. Right. And yeah, but that's really the problem. That, that's, and that, the... that's narrative. It's like, because there's so many versions of the truth, now people say, well, that's the narrative. That's this narrative. That's that narrative. I don't remember. But it is still a narrative. narrative so it doesn't. It doesn't mean it is or is. But what does true. that mean? So it's a story. Like uh, they want you to believe this story. They want you to believe. But there are fuck. there are a lot of stories that a lot Breast. of things can be true at the same Breast. time. Breast. Okay, we're good. A, a lot of things can be nourishment. That's, her, that's 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 the narrative I'm trying to see. See, here's the irony. I think Jordan Peterson and where he he gets he, where he gets Bigot. really upset. Or like he's like, or the flaw that he sees, I think, in his own work is that there's a hint of postmodernism in that, and he doesn't like postmodernism. But to me, the postmodernism that's in it is actually the key to the next step, which is to realizing that okay, so if postmodernism says that everything, which is like it's, which comes from some kind of, uh, it's kind of like literary criticism, and everything critical comes theory, from an ideology. Well, that's more Marxist criticism. That's, you know, this postmodern well, that, versus Marxist true. versus... I think Peterson, though, has pointed out that some good did come from postmodernism. The good thing that came from it was that there's kind of an... There's sort of an infinite... What, 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 how did there's there's infinite, an infinite it's about language, set actually, of... Right, right, right. About, so yeah. Language his, is his so basic arbitrary. Notion, yeah. his, his basic notion... At least you keep your mouth towards it because you're, you're far away. At least face towards it. Like, maybe Just put your mic... Nurturing. If you're going to be looking... If you're going to be looking at me... Oh, 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 yeah. Nice. Angle at that point. Okay. Because yeah. I need to look at you. Yeah, yes. you need to look at me. Like, just, it, it, just put it okay, somewhere okay. to where you're naturally going to... Okay, let me well, move this over here. What is it? What is, Jordan, Jordan Peterson said that postmodernism... There's, 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 there's an infinite, infinite number, number of truths, sort of. Or there's an like infinite that. number of ways of interpreting the world. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah. everyone will get you... Will, and you know, that, get that you is a benefit over conventional thinking at the time, but taken to its extreme, that's a horrifying... That's another way of saying we don't know what the truth is. where they're wrong, and where he's also right... Is that where where there are where, where postmodernism is wrong or po where Peterson is right and where okay. postmodernism is wrong? It's to say that postmodernism would say um, implicitly that therefore every narrative is kind of arbitrary. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's exactly. All just interpretation. Exactly, exactly. But not it's every narrative can successfully, you know, um, you know, have a successful society come from it. Right. And so he's trying to say, hey, these are the things that our that our society has loved. To me, like there's that whole that thing of saving your father father from the belly of the beast, right. yeah. which is to say, is like the Christianity that I grew up with, the Catholicism that I grew up with. I could see it was dead. I could see there's not there's no there's nothing in those words that seems real to me, as to where something like there like there are times where I would say that there was more of a spirit of something a spirit. Um, like I'm using metaphysical language because sometimes it's the best way to communicate things. The way that stories are sometimes the best way to communicate mm -hmm. things or music is. I would say there was more of a religious spirit in Led Zeppelin than there was at most of like the, ma the, the masses that I would go to. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize that they're that they're connected religious people you know i mean i, I you see oh, i'm yeah, beginning Jimmy to Page think that i think people dark, yeah, he was he was a the religious, i think yeah so he was religious i would say the religious i would say that the religious cinematic. impulse <laughs> whether or not you want i mean we can get into semantics about how to define religion um but the thing is is that i think it's become clear to me that people the shape of religion the shape that religion takes is seems to emerge in human societies almost always what do you and mean I think what, what do you mean every society has had some form of religion right because every okay. society is afraid of dying there is without, without, religion would be meaningless see here's the without thing. heaven this is but this is this is where this is but this is where it, where it comes in that that story that story that's turned that that narrative that's true what narrative? But like what you just said, I believe that's true. Yeah, no, I, I But just reality itself is so infinite and complex that you could tell a lot of different stories that are also true. I mean, to hearken, oh, sure. to, hearken to Peterson, too. I mean, And to me, that will be the thing you, that makes it possible you need for to, us to have all of our different traditions exist yeah. together in the world. Well, I mean, P Peterson has kind of touched on this, too. I think he's... It, it's you uh, Beyond just being afraid of dying, you need meaning in your life you need a reason to get out of bed in the morning you know it's a because there's no there's no it's not immediately obvious that you should continue to work on yourself and continue to live in a good fashion right. you need no. you need to breathe some kind of meaning into your actions otherwise why not die so True. so on top of fear of death it's like we also need a compelling reason to keep existing. Yeah, we need stories. We need mythology. Yeah, exactly. We, we need we see parables. The world yeah, stories that's how we learn morality is yeah. from stories, like fairy tales. Yeah, and the well, Bible. No, no, but that, yeah, that's, that's Greek true. mythology. The story yeah. always comes first. Right. The thing is, people think that like the story that my, the the problem with like you know because I was big into uh, I was a huge promoter of the the new atheist. Yeah, I was I was big on that too. Mo so movement at Dawkins. At four the four horsemen, yeah. baby. <laughs> four, four horsemen and in and, and, and Hitchens and all that. Where but has Daniel Dennett been lately? Daniel Dennett got mad at Sam Harris because Why does everybody hate Sam Harris, by the way? I'm, I don't hate Sam I Harris. Missed the I missed the boat on these this people. I still by the way, Sam, Sam Harris, Sam who Harris is not is listening to this, I've given you $2 a month. <laughs> For for I'm a graduate student. Sam Harris, Shut who up. should be listening to this, who should because he could <laughs> learn something. I've given Sam Harris two dollars a month for years yeah. on end. I was one of the people who gave your ass money. So so Sam Harris, you, you, you don't basically you don't Andrew Yang, I still love you don't, Harris. You don't really know Harris. I don't know Sam. I'm not familiar. With he's Sam. a Sam he's Harris. a neuroscientist, and he is he is also of the left. He is virulently anti-Trump, like borderline TDS um, which I understand I, I understand I'm not TDS. I'm not knocking him but yeah, yeah, what's yeah. weird about it is that people from the left like the people we were talking about last last time like David Pakman and Sam Cedar and uh, Anna Kasparian and all those I hate, yeah. I hate her can't stand it yeah yeah <laughs> I, she's bad. Have a visceral hate for her I why Cause just because of her shrill voice or what no. tell, tell us why there's actually personal personal things, but oh. what what I'll say I can't like get I can't say it, but uh, but that's not it's not even that. Wait, is it because you think 
because you're attracted to her? Did Absolutely. she reject you? She's vile. No, yeah. I actually did once apply to as an editor to the Young Turks. The Young Turks, nice. And I never got a call back, which is fine. It has nothing to do with that. But <laughs> there are videos of Anna but Kasparian. Anna Kasparian. <laughs> There's videos of her being a fucking vomit. Like she, she literally said to this one guy, hmm. like, she, like I forget what was happening, but she just goes. Listen, you fat fuck! Get yeah. off the stage. Yeah. Talk to Alex Jones, and she's she she's said uh, Alex, Jones? Alex Jones when oh. he <laughs> crashed a he crashed the set. Alex Jones uh, not a bad I didn't man. know that was Alex. I, I think was some he's janitor. not healthy in the mind. That's but bad. I do not no. think he's a bad. She, no, but, she but on top said, of there's more. She also what, what let me she give, say? I'll give she you said, one more. Uh, I yeah, About, I do think I'm better than you. If you, yeah, if you voted, for I got Trump. another one. I think you're better. I think I'm better than you. It's like she also a, said people will come to me and try to discuss politics with me, and it's like this is my job. I don't go up to a surgeon and tell them how to do their surgery. So don't tell me how to do my job. Hmm. And I'm like thinking, oh, bitch, all you're boy. doing is sorry. That is no nice. nurturer. Yeah. All you're doing <laughs> is bullshitting with people and we can bullshit with you yeah. we're bullshitting okay, yeah, right you're now. not a fucking surgeon you're not on call to right. save someone's you know life funny right. thing your is? shit is totally based off opinion yeah and talk you're oh, a fucking I, she's host. got she's got this perspective that a lot of people have now which is if you disagree or have some kind of problem with her outlook it's like we can't have a conversation no and she's always calling out like Armenian men and like saying, "Oh, they think that I should." Be oh, an dude, Armenian did you ever see did Armenian you, there's woman? There's a video of Anna Kasparian and the other dude from the Young Turks. I don't think Chank Chank wasn't Douche. there. Um, no, he's like the he's Watch sort of the bald. Each, the anonymous. He's got a tie on a lot of the other times. guy. Yeah, other guy. Um, one of the main dudes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we They're know. at some conference. Does he have a beard? Yeah, he's he's like got a clean beard though. Bald with a clean yes. beard and a tie. And and they're at okay. some conference and some kid they're they're like talking to college students I think and this kid stands up and it's it's totally he's just fucking trying to just go for the low blow he asked them if they deny the uh, the Armenian oh, genocide and they freak you think the we fuck it? they freak the, the Turkish dude fuck did? out the, it's just Turks. some student in the in the crowd he's just like do you did because one of the group yeah, they Turkey denies the fucking genocide and <laughs> because of that has not given any reparations and, to the fucking army and they're called the young Turks so <laughs> those it's are like, the original no but the Jews young who Turks, got the young yeah. Turks. rounded up all the Armenian intellectuals and yeah. slaughtered them it's yep. it's it's, it's and not and really friend, and then all everyone else family, our I have family uh, I have system a of a down again. since 1999 I have a Turkish friend who was just like my boyfriend thinks it's so weird that, like, you know, she he just thinks I'm being stubborn when I say that the Armenian genocide didn't happen. I'm like, you are. Uh, you, yeah. you're, yeah. Only you're being stubborn. Yeah. You're being this a fucking being. asshole. Yeah. Oh, are you Turkish? They died. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> the Armenian genocide yeah. happened. I guess rounding up all of the Armenian intellectuals. They just murdered them, the intellectuals. And then killing a million Armenians. <laughs> Wasn't genocide. That was just war. In the name fuckers. of we hate you. Like, guess what? Yeah. One so of the fuck the was Young called, Turks. I actually yeah. made the me group love Roger Stone. Young Dude, Turks. did you ever hear when Roger Stone went on there and just started yes. going, blow job, blow job, blow job, Roger blow job. Stone blow is a badass who I might disagree with politically, but he's just a badass. He's dude. a psychopath. He is a, a psycho. <laughs> pissed off the Young Turks, so yeah. he has a special place. So in my he's heart. good. Yeah. Dude, the Young Turks <laughs> got me into. Like YouTube political comedy. Yeah, no, me too. I and then I just I got red pilled or whatever. Yeah, Fuck you to never this liked him. Yeah. I still like. I still like because here's the thing about Cenk. Cenk, he's Cenk much does more stomachable Cenk than does fucking no. Cenk is sides. just the Rush Limbaugh of the left. Uh, no, I but think. but yeah. here's the thing: is, is that Rush Limbaugh could not understand what the other side thinks. Cenk, to his I credit, disagree, I disagree with that. Rush Limbaugh is smart I've as fuck. I th no, it's not that he's he smart. It's just he's, he's very limited. Identifies with the left think, in any way. He, he always... But, but he knows his brand. But I think no, he's, he's doing he's what Chank is doing. Right. Yeah. No, but that, that's what Chank is... Not, that is exactly what Chank is not doing. But the thing is, is that Chank has always been the guy who, to his credit, and I have even seen Anna do this, and to the extent that Anna does it, I really appreciate it. And the extent to anybody who does this, I really appreciate it, because it's what I'm going to try to do or what I try to do which is very difficult to do which is to say that um, he has given the others <laughs> <laughs> dude no he's very theatrical yeah, he's like very like no bad bad <laughs> he's just like a really big like, deal like listen All right. yeah. <laughs> he'll even do the eyes for a second before he says it we'll be like bad <laughs> dude breasts Dude, breasts. Penis. Nurturing. 
<laughs> no. no. The nurturing of the boys. What were you saying? Yeah. What I was saying is that Chank does, um, he doesn't just, it's not just a complete progressive, like, just saying, like, in-group mythology thing. He does sort of say, yes, this is true, and this is true, and this is true, but there is blah, 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 blah. He does, he does sometimes put in um, so he appreciates the conservative, he, 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 he does inject a little bit more nuance into the conversation, I think because he grew up in a conservative background, and he's also somebody who runs a business. I haven't his, seen his father was like a very successful immigrant who had like numerous patents he was talking about. I'm sure. I think Chank, I, I, I believe when uh, Chank, when he says that he loves America. Oh, whoops. The, I he loves you were talking America. about Yang. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Whoops. Well, see, oh, I... You got it mixed up. All those four. Yang, and, I thought you were saying Yang. I, you were saying Chang. Yang, Chang. Man. I don't. <laughs> so I don't, Andrew Yang, he was, he, uh, what's great about him is he's a bu- he doesn't get petty. He doesn't like go to anyone's <laughs> level. He doesn't like call anyone out. Yeah, Chank. But anyway, Chank. <laughs> opposite of Anna Kasparian. I don't. Oh! I don't believe Chank though is the thing. No, he's a fucking businessman. What do you mean by that? I just don't believe him. I, I think he's well, he's well. He's, he's now he's playing to his well. His that's crowd. so. I wonder if at a certain point they just pivoted to. Pandering to a crowd, you know, like but he, he does still sometimes go out on a limb. I, I, I honestly, bit. I haven't paid. It's not as bad as Don and, Lemon. I don't know what happened. Don, to Don, Don Lemon. Lemon he, honestly, I want to like him too. You look not, at him and you're like, oh, he seems like a cool dude, but he just and I used to like him. You know, he's me too. Dude, the guy's in his fifties. He, he looks like he's thirty. He's in his fifties. He's in his fifties. Doesn't that he looks great? That makes him a little more complex, doesn't it? He's in his fifties and he used to be good, but now it's just all. He's just so biased, I, and he he's doesn't. Got, and he's he got doesn't that look admit of, it. He's he got that look of superiority it. on his face every yeah. time. He, and then, well, I mean, he's in his fifties. He happened. looks fucking great. Yeah, I mean, that's he, undeniable. He's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't. The, he is one person who every time I see him, it reminds me of like the um, V for Vendetta like broadcast where it's just propaganda. It's it's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. It yeah, he's, he's, he's here's, been here's bullshit. actually yeah. the, the on the opposite. I never, I never knew Chris Cuomo much better. I think Chris Cuomo is one of the best guys. I can't stand Cuomo either. Can't oh, I love I, him. He has, Fuck him. It, it, I literally want him to pick me up and take me out to lunch. I like he, he like makes me feel like a second grader. I like grader. Shapiro's description of him as a block of wood. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on that train. No, nah, but he honestly, he I, likes I, I don't know if you watch the show, I, but he calls out a lot of, he's like. been calling out the Dems I mean, lately. he's for sure better than He's definitely Don the Lennon. most fair guy on CNN. Him yeah. and, him and, and, and I like Jake, Jake Tapper, too. Jake Tapper's great. Yeah, I like and I like guys. Brooke Baldwin. Oh, you know who Jake I really Tapper, You know who I really like? Jake Tapper's amazing. He's not old school. He's cool. He's very noir. Yeah. I love Fareed Zachariah. I love Fareed. I call him Zachariah, but whatever his name is, I love him. Zachariah, Zachariah? whatever. Probably Zachariah. He's great. He's He's very intelligent. He gets it. it. I I think CNN at least has a couple shows. Like, MSNBC is way more biased. Oh, it's... It, yeah, but but CNN, they admit it. According to Ben Shapiro... CNN does have really MSNBC, good MSNBC, people don't get as too. pissed off at it because they come out and say, yeah, we're left. But You're CNN right, right, denies right, right, right. it. But, like, honestly, like, Chris Cuomo, Jake Tapper, Brooke Walden, all those shows are pretty reasonable. Like, they're not too biased. Yeah, but the uh, thing yeah, is, they make biased. it seem they're, they're, like they are, but if you kind of, like, They're watch, pretty fucking biased. But I mean, how like, often do you watch? There's... Actually, I should watch more. Every time I'm think, at the bar. Honestly, out of, like, Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, I don't think there's any less biased show than Chris Wallace. I think Fox is actually shooting And most, maybe Chris Wallace's Actually, show. I think... What, that's Chris crazy. Wallace is great on What's Fox. What's weird, okay, I did love you ever Chris see Wallace this... Um, is great. Back in, I think, like, 2008, 2009, there's this documentary, Outfoxed. You ever heard of it? Mm-mm. It's cool. It's bit, so so like right like back in two thousand eight two thousand nine whatever sometime around then yeah, it was Bill O'Reilly it was strong. Keep talking. What are we, I just hear a weird sound. Check. What are we? Check. Breasts. Um. Uh. Well, back back during that time, it was very obvious to me that like Fox was Fox was bad. <laughs> Breath? Yeah, no. Fo- <laughs> like I don't get how Fox gets away. Like no one on CNN comes close to Tucker Carlson or Sean Hannity when it comes to like really being, being assholes. Outrageous. I think and Don outrageous. Lemon, I, think I think Don, Don Lemon, Lemon does. does. Yeah. Not a, Don Lemon though doesn't like fucking attack people the he's way bad. he's like fucking, no. But Tucker but Carlson actually, will have a guest on and he'll like hang up on the guest and Don, tell and like, Don, Don Lemon. Don, Don Lemon's got this raised eyebrow. Just no. And he's, I yeah, smells he's very smug. Kind. It smells it's very smug. It's a different kind of thing. Fuck one you. one is like yeah, more like straightforward. What is more like blah blah blah, and the other one is just like well okay. So no, Don Lemon does make that face. Yeah. Like he'll like he'll hear a quote and then they'll just go. 
I, I don't even know what this means. Let's talk to. Here's the thing: is part of me still well, likes Anderson well, there was, Cooper. I love there was, Anderson. There was Cooper. a pivot. Though. There I, was the a pivot. Is, that was I made. like. I like. Uh, the thing is, I, I. I. As a human being, I. I. I, I like Anderson. Cooper. I like Anderson Cooper. And you know, it, take him or leave him. He's. Uh, and I, I guess his mother was a Satanist who's part of the deep state and has been like sex trafficking. Something. But, but you well, know, so well, that that explains the white hair. But right. still, I, I don't was, fully believe. There was a pivot at some point when social media started taking because now, like, look, Joe Rogan has. He, he's got many millions more viewers than all of the major media networks. Yeah, he's combined. killing yeah. it. These, I these actually love are, when he has them MMA they're guys They're fucking on. dinosaurs. Yeah. But at a certain point, Trump became elected, or the election was going on, and then everything went nuts. We all lost our minds. CNN and MSNBC notably pivoted towards the left, mm -hmm. towards the total anti-Trump. CNN's been pushing Russia right. for two years. It, and oh. then... Fox, but Russia was involved. Fox, I while mean, no one some validity, while no one was Trump looking, involved. while no one was looking though, Fox pivoted to the middle. Yeah, pi uh, they did. They they yeah. still like. Yeah, they're the totally right. on no, the I right. I love that. But but they, they went to the. I, they did. I used no. to hate them. Tucker Carlson commended yeah. Elizabeth Warren's economic policies. He described He's, himself he as gave, a liberal. I think he gave yeah. her the boost. Yeah. He did give her. Yeah, she was the best. He got the Tucker. No, you know I appreciate. When that happens sometimes, when yeah. because so many people on the internet and all over the like mainstream media completely controlled by the same company, right? It's all and so I like seeing that to well, kind of like say to weird, everyone. I wonder if the people hear all this like. Oh, Anyways, okay. keep talking. So I'm sorry. Um, I have no idea. Uh, done. Okay. <laughs> talking, talking, just, talking, just, talking, talking. Just keep going. Just yeah. Keep all right. Well, I never stopped. So. Yeah. But but it is it is fascinating to me that like now like I know the slant of Fox. Fox has actually gotten better, not worse. It CNN and, better. and NBC got worse. Like is kind of the way I look at because it. Because now they're know? just propaganda. I think Cuomo's it's show weird. is a big positive for CNN. Personally. I think I think not not to keep sucking his look, dick. No, <laughs> you and Cuomo, huh? I fucking love that guy. Dude, he's like Superman. The thing is, is the, I first noticed him at the Virginia shooting. I'm not the Virginia shooting, the Las Vegas shooting at the Mandalay Bay. Oh, okay. He used to work on a morning show, and he was just there, like, talking to all the people. He had just got in there, and he just seemed so compassionate, and he had, like, ne like pathos, very empathetic. And just ever since then, I'm like, I like this guy. <laughs> and honestly, he's he's got the most unbiased show on CNN, which doesn't say a lot. That is like being but, the smartest kid in the special ed class. I mean, it's I don't know, man. Bad, it got me. I guess I, you know, I in the special ed class, knows. I was like, ugh. <laughs> oh, shit. I would but, say cable wait, I was news. The that was, was my Steve Jobs impression. All really <laughs> biased <laughs> to me with Tucker Carlson. Like he's like, a fucking Tucker dick. Carlson because he does. If you Tucker. could imagine a more pissed off Christian Bale, who's like kind of out of it. First, I used to hate Tucker Carlson, but the thing is, mostly because right about John Stewart appearance on crossfire yeah, yeah. or whatever but that's the problem he was wrong about a lot of stuff back then. i still and disagree right with now, him on so much stuff yeah, me too. He's Every once in a while, i'm watching a show and i don't then all of a sudden i don't he goes into a segment where he's going full tucker carlson yeah i like and i'm like oh, i hate his laugh his idiot. laugh is so antagonistic because <laughs> he's also got he's got the face but of he just, has balls yeah he's always like and he's he's commented about that publicly. He's yeah. like, dude, this is just how my face. Well, because like he thinks he's... about it all the time. He's yeah, a he fucking does. No, he, I, I, but the thing he is, has a conversation with uh, Gavin McInnes that I really like, actually. Oh, I, I haven't seen great. that. I, that's the hour and a half. It's, one. Yeah, it's, I heard it's that. Black really and white. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. Did you see the conversation between him and Cenk Huger? No, Tucker and Cenk. Yeah, at at on Politico. Young Turks or uh, no? On oh, dude, it was really good. And that's the thing that that's the thing that bothers me is 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 Cenk. Shank is, mm, those guys agree. If the if, if the Baldur's people could unite, they could actually fix the problems. Fuck! I hit the mic again. <laughs> trying to do it. I'm like, <laughs> like trying to do I, I know there's there's gonna be things that it's like we're gonna have to put aside for like a moment, and can we just fix these like few really important things that we yeah, all agree on? Very weird. And then we can go very back weird. to fighting each other. No one wants to though. No one right now. No one wants to agree it's weird they want the other side to be wrong they want right. to keep hating them it's just like, tribal and the internet tribalism. the internet it's, is the fuel that keeps the fire going it is. the internet yeah. in a way Everybody, the internet's a lot of, of great rage. stuff like the mass communication right. the mass information is great but it's so hard to figure out the right thing yeah. but, but actually there's I so think, much convolution on the well, you, and like first of all not only that me, everyone now gets to publicly say how offended they are yeah like everyone has a cause now; it's all exposed, and there's like no way to keep track. That's of that. That's I'm I'm very very sick and tired of virtue signaling. You know? Like, yeah, dude. Just I, 
It's phony. It's yeah. like you get, guys are fucking get off public of servants. Yes. You're, this isn't high school theater. <laughs> yeah. Like right. fucking go act if that's what you want to do. Okay. Yes. If you want to be because yeah. they're all shitty actors. I mean, you know, yeah. actors yeah. are pros. These we guys, can, we can see right through them. We can see through it. Exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah. Cory Booker I, I and Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. they realize that, especially, or maybe it's also because we're all very media savvy. Right, you certainly, you and I, like, we literally studied it. Didn't you study well, like, I'm, communication? I'm not. You, you guys Well, are. your band is called The Absurd, though, so, so I no, but he, you have he, some he literary pretty, knowledge. He's, he's, he's the smart I, I read Is Camus. that a Camus reference? I read Camus, Camus once. Camus, yeah. dude. <laughs> what? Hey, yeah. dude, Camus. I, I read I half of his book, and I was like, I once oh, adapted yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one of his shorts, all, all I can stomach. The Stranger? Is it The Stranger? Yeah, The Stranger's awesome. That one, I like, he has a series of short stories called Exile in the Kingdom, and he has one. I actually wrote a script adaptation of it in my screenwriting class class That's really good really that's the best thing you've yeah. ever written thanks man yeah he, it's called the renegade or a confused mind and it's about this uh religion like this catholic who it's, in, it's it's like sent in algeria and he goes to this city of salt where all the worst sinners are and he goes there with the grand illusions that he's going to convert anyone and he ends up mm. being enslaved by them and he becomes like the best like he it's his new religion now is this fetish that's he in goes the city he's going to convert and yeah. convert him and take him in. so i updated it and made it that he goes to burning man uh, oh that's awesome and he gets kidnapped and, and they give him ecstasy and he just becomes and like a fucking a partier man, dude. Yeah. yeah burner what is that is yeah that? but then when but the whole thing was at the end when it's time to pack up he he can't handle it like I, when they're all oh, like awesome. oh hey dude we're just we were just having this fun. was just a week yeah, and he, yeah. He just yeah. sees all like all the kids at the yeah. end that are like, "Yeah, we're going back to class." Oh, and he's just yeah. like yeah. the main like bad his, guy, and he took it on as a like, lifestyle. There's someone in yeah. it called the Sorcerer, yeah. and it's like this masked guy, and he's oh, the so leader. Good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. at the end, he like meets who the Sorcerer. The, the, no longer has the costume. It's like this Jewish redhead just kid. Dude, he's <laughs> like, "Hey, you want to take a shower in my dad's RV?" <laughs> 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 like he goes, and he's "What? What about the fetish?" Dude, I love playing with existentialism, man. It's oh, like, and absurdism. That's that's why I, I uh, was turned on to Kafka really earlier. Oh, Just dude, like that's some I good never Jewish. Read that's some good Jewish writing, right? right there. That oh. is that is some of the Kafka best. Kafka was finest. the most fearing. He was like a, so scared of his father. Yeah, he never published anything until after he died. I think. Yeah, he instructed. After his father died. He instructed his. Oh, he uh, died before he Kafka died. A very young man. Yeah, he did. He after had, Kafka uh, died, his sister published it or uh, something. How old was he? I don't know. He's in his twenties. He was in his thirties. Like I think. What was his yeah. deal? Well, okay, what is Friends the deal Kafka. With Kafka? I'm gonna say I don't. Kafka know. was a. I know. I've he was like a. Him. He was like a paralegal or what? He was just working as a typist somewhere. It's like 1800s, 1900s. Yeah, and he would. He would early. 1900s. Yeah, and he would, he he would, just go to work, do yeah. be quiet and kind of unlikable, just kind of there. Yeah, very. And then he would just stay up for hours writing, and yeah. writing and writing, and, and he writing. didn't tell anyone about it. And he didn't tell anyone. His friend, Wrote one the friend, metamorphosis. one friend, knew that he had really good stories, and Kafka knew that he was going to die at a certain point because he was diagnosed with TB or whatever it yeah. was. He instructed his friend to burn all of his writings. Yes, that's true. God bless his friend. Didn't friend do it. Didn't published all of them. Why did he? He was afraid of his father. To burn yeah. all of his he, His father was really domineering, and he, he thought like if his father found out he was writing, he'd be disowned. Or, yeah. He was like a feared. Yeah, he was like why a sick guy. Why did his father care? That that's he why was all of his. Because back then it was traditionally it wanted like writing was frowned upon. It was like you're a dreamer. It was like what? Yeah, yeah, you're exactly. like a romantic. Yeah, you're just just like now, unless yeah. you live in L.A. Right. L.A. and L.A. <laughs> yeah, L.A. Like that. <laughs> L.A. These are jackasses like us. It's like joining the circus. <laughs> yeah. What's the What's the show that that's from? Uh, everything's better in L.A. Letter Kenny. Hashtag Letter Kenny. All right. Anyway, yeah. Canadian TV. Uh, the thing is, I feel like I feel like L.A. The way to be in L.A. now is to like understand that L.A. is L.A. And kind of LA like is a treasure hunt. LA. LA, you're not going to go to LA and there's but just treasure LA. everywhere. You LA, have to go through the shit and LA find is the gems. A trap. And, LA, and, yeah, is and a, trap. a treasure hunt for sure. But the yeah. thing is, if if you talk to like I've had this experience recently to other people who have come in and they're trying to like play the stupid game because yeah, I work I I work. Oh in my god, I love meeting people who just like actually play the game. I'm like, are you? Fucking serious, yeah, and then I, I mean, see them drive away in their Mercedes. I'm like, maybe I should play. And most of the people yeah. who give LA a bad <laughs> reputation are out of towners. Mm -hmm. But the people, but, the scumbags who come here, are like, I'm gonna be. Well, everything. LA is just a city of. of but I mean, I, I mean, the, there will be like a there will be someone like talking to you. Like I was talking to someone the other day about like about oh, working working with this company, and it was like, and it was I, I basically told them, and I, I just like. 
I just dropped any of the bullshit and I was like, hey, so um, I've noticed that you guys, like, you'll do this and you'll book me for, and then you, you'll stop and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I just laid it out, like, in a really just my concerns. Yeah. Like, but in a very just like, hey, like, can we sort this out? Can you? But, like, I'm giving them the opportunity to just be straight with me. And I say, oh, okay. I'd like to say something people, about LA. And, when and, you're the, done. and the thing yeah. is, this is like, I'm not doing it because I'm naive. Right, right, right. I'm right, doing right. it, and again, this was this was actually a. Well, you're doing it because you Peterson. because you actually know kind of what's going on. Right? Yeah, I know what's going on, and I'm saying, hey, do do we need do we need to do this? Like, can, is it is it is it possible? Like, can you, can 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 we just like have like an honest transaction here? It's amazing how many like, people. And we'll I'm, both come, and we'll both like come out better for it. Yeah. It's amazing like, how why, many people are just like it's so hard to make friends in LA. It's like right because no one actually shows you who they are. Right, it's, just do, just do. Your everyone's thing. Everyone's working. Every every it's it's twenty four hour work. Exactly. Yeah, LA is a place where people come to hustle. Yep. But they one do. thing about LA, see, as a native, like, and I didn't even really appreciate this or know this growing up, but LA is also a land of neighborhoods. Like every culture yeah. has their own little yeah, pocket. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, and a lot of great. I, some I of the love, greatest, cheapest food is in this city and it's always been there yep. but it wasn't until the millennials who were like you know I want to go to Koreatown and have this cold noodle soup and this tofu soup <laughs> it's like and then every, all of a sudden all these places are cool like Thai Town Koreatown Little Tokyo True. Yeah, they were always family businesses they were always like, dude, like, like, yeah like the fucking baby booners didn't give a fuck about ramen they were always dumb <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. Every, all the belittlers now are like we need deliciousness yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to get rock. we don't need houses yeah. or the ability yeah it's to like you know what children. we can't we get a house so we'll food. have some fucking this, this ramen sucks ramen. I, yeah. the first time I this, heard this ramen say has that, been like, culturally How much appropriate ramen have you had yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh this guy says ramen sucks all the time because he had the best oh, dude I took him to ramen he's like this is some of the worst ramen this I've is had. shit ramen and I'm like great I'm glad you like it sorry I brought you yeah yeah did I say that oh yeah dude come on Bob's big boy I took him to Bob's big boy never been to Bob's big boy in Glendale uh, it's Pasadena. in the valley in Northridge. Northridge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was just so disappointed, uh, but he was it. like, "This is unremarkable." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> you're at fucking Bob's Big Boy." Yeah, he got like the blue cheeseburger. I was like, "Dude, get a Big Boy." So oh, you gotta get. I'll get the blue, get the blue yeah. cheeseburger. Oh, Big yeah, Boy. That was, yeah, that was Every a problem. Time. I got something that I should have gotten at like a gas. You also went to a Big Boy yeah. looking like to have standards and stuff. Right. That's yeah, a mistake. No, no, no. I should have gone He was expecting 100 percent beef chuck roast. <laughs> Where's the wagyu? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're, you're right about that. I should have, but I did find it. Under my, you've I'll never, have the Kobe beef. You've never yeah. lo- you, what you, do you mean you don't have you it? You love this I'm anecdote. Leaving. Unremarkable. There will be, there will be well, that's the word he used. I'll never forget unremarkable. it. He's like, it's, it's unremarkable. <laughs> Like, so smug. Find me a person who goes I into a big boy and leaves going, no. remarkable. <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Tell you one thing about big boy, remarkable. Like, but it had been, like, blown up for me because you see, like... Have like, you never d- been to a big boy? No, dude. Like, like... I don't know. There's none. There's where, none where you grew up. Were there Bob's? Well, I'm 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 from uh, I'm from the Midwest where, oh, where all we eat is shit. So there's dude, big boys like I on every block. I went to Detroit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I went to Tiger Stadium, and I was like, home of the chili like, dog, were... home of home of heart disease. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went to I Tiger should... Stadium or Comerica? Uh, when did you go? Whatever the Tiger Stadium. I went. Uh, this would have been two years ago. I went. I went to a so wedding Comerica. at Tiger Stadium. That's the new Tiger Stadium. Yeah. Don't you I'm... dare invoke the name of old Tiger Stadium. It means a lot to the people. Are there. you from Michigan? I don't know anything yeah. about it. I'm from uh, Detroit. I, I yeah. ever since American Pie, I, I always wanted to go to Detroit. Michigan. <laughs> It is nice in the yeah. summer. Oh, the yeah. West part of the state. Absolutely and I always, beautiful. dude, I find the Upper Peninsula fascinating. Oh, like, no, no one's really there, right? It's there's the like tree, a college. Well, there's the tree there's a college, right? Yeah, there's a college, and then there's the right, tree people. Right. I find that place mysterious. It's wonderful. Okay. Like I have the to, Upper I have Peninsula. Pee, so I want you guys to keep talking. That's, I have to pee, too, but uh, I'll go when too, you get so. back. We'll, we'll so, all go at different times. We're going to keep spotting each other. Reminds me of the Alex Jones, Joe Rogan appearance. I have to pee. I'll pee later. No, Alex Jones can be funny sometimes. I mean, that's not promoting Alex think Jones. I, don't, I, I don't, think he's kind of—he's kind of a. I don't think Alex Jones is a bad man. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think he's a bad person I either. I think he's, he's mentally ill. Yeah. But I, th- I think he's—he's he's got like paranoid delusions. I don't know what his. Not I'm a doctor, but yeah, or maybe he's just trying to make money. I don't know. But like lizard people, <laughs> they're turning the freaking frogs yeah. gay. <laughs> it's like when did this happen? Where like everyone is so fascinated with circumstantial evidence. I it's like know. everything, like that's all anyone lives on anymore. It's yeah. like they completely are 
like skeptical about anything from mainstream media. Right. But they'll read stuff from anonymous sources like Q and treat it like scripture. It makes no sense. I mean, and they so, call us go and they call people gullible for watching the news. Yeah, I think I think that's what Trump tapped into is he yeah. just he knew that people were just skeptical of mm. mainstream. It's why Bernie almost won in in twenty sixteen. It's why he almost did it, and he he would have done it too if it wasn't for those. Rascally. I didn't vote for Bernie. Everyone was a Bernie bro. I was like, I'm just gonna stick with Hillary. Uh, no, that's cool. I I voted for Hillary in the you know in the actual election, but. I was I was a Bernie bro. I, I remember. I think you said on the podcast it's like one of your biggest regrets voting for Hillary. I don't like that I voted for Hillary. See, yeah. to me, I'm not there yet. I'm still okay with it. Yeah, personally, because okay. I I don't fully buy in that she's <coughs> because of circumstantial evidence. Yeah, I mean, oh, no. like people live on circumstance. Get on microphone. <laughs> Died a long time ago. Yeah. What, what, what we oh. The audio. Yeah. Oh, good. It'll just be more podcasting. Well, okay. Oh, you didn't plug it into a charger. Good idea. I have a lot of things to do, bro. That's true. You should keep talking. Get, get a charger. Okay. You guys keep on, um, but, but yeah, yeah I, I we just realized that we're not on TV just, anymore, and honestly, it kind of yeah, I'm kind of the wind's kinda, sort of taken yeah, out of the sails. Yeah, took the wind huh? right out of the room. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. This, this fucking sucks. But anyway, yeah, I, back to Trump. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I was thinking about my voting record the other day because like I, I don't know why. And um, here I'll go next. Here I you can go through me, Max. Actually, maybe we should pause everything. He's searching. Oh, God damn it. We're going to take a quick break. the whole point was to stop. stop. I know, I know. All right, we're going to stop. Okay, bye. Or not stop. What were we talking about before the... uh, Wait, wait, wait. What happened to Kafka? Unfortunate. His friend published his shit after he died. Yeah, Kafka was in fear of his father, and he had a very unique style. I mean, things are now, a, a term is Kafka-esque. Kafka-esque, yeah, I love that term. It's kind of when something is very bleak, and there's like an inner torture. Like, my favorite short story I've read of his is called The Hunger Artist. Nice. And it's literally just a guy who sits in a cage and people watch him starve himself. Hey. It's yeah. really dark. That's awesome. It's really bleak. It's That's amazing. That's awesome. Kafka's a genius. No, he was a genius. Oh, no, 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 no. That's another thing we were talking about, too. I was talking about my, my voting record. And so I've, as I've gotten older and wiser, uh, I've come to I, – I was thinking about my voting record the other day, and I was like, okay, so I voted for Obama in the first election that I could ever you know, participate in. Then I voted for Gary Johnson the second time around. Then I guess – You I ran a 212 too? Yeah, I, I, I was I was a uh, I was a Ron Paul supporter. Yeah, I like Ron Paul. Then, I like uh, him way better than his fuck up son. Yeah, Rand Paul. And I then I fucking hate. I was Rand. still for Obama. Rand, Rand is in like Anna Kasparian territory. Rand is Rand is. Why is he so different? Well, anyway, then I, I then I was a Sanders a Bernie bro. <laughs> then Bernie. I voted for Clinton, and now coming up, I'm like hit the cough button. I'm like D- yeah, right. Well, I'm moving my head away. <laughs> this dude's eyes. He's fucking high as shit. Dude, anyway. So, so I w- I'm like, dude, coming so we're up. we're accepting sponsorships. Who do you like? My, my, point, my point is that, like, when I vote, like, I, I, I guess I think sort of pragmatically. I'm like, I don't really like any of these people. Yeah. I'm not like. I'm a registered I'm independent. Like yeah, same. Yeah. 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 I've never had a party affiliation. But I'm like, coming up, I'm like, dear God. I, I may not I, vote. I, I, th- I might do it. Man, I might do it. I might do it. I oh, I didn't say it. you guys said it. Wait, wait, wait. I, oh, oh, I can't oh, vote oh, for oh, that oh, piece oh, of oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, <laughs> hey. Do we need that's a... to me that's polling case of emergency. <laughs> See, I, 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 like, I, I think I can vote honestly, for him. honestly, I know, I know like, I'm trying to make sure that no, I that's all in his words. That's not. Yeah, exactly. Like he could do so much good. You know, like it's like anyone. Like if you're constantly doing something good for someone, but you're like. Do you like what I'm doing for you, you fucking cunt? You fucking piece of it shit. It kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's kind of the metaphor of what's going on. Like, you know, yeah. Trump can be doing a lot of good. We kind of don't know the long-term effects, which yeah. is what's scary. Like, we don't know what these tariffs are. I think we can make what, this. What, like, alienating we, we can our allies did. We turn lemon into lemonade if we want to. Sure. No, there, there's definitely, like, a bright a side. I mean, there is, like, this woke it's thing. It's not just the extreme lefties. I mean, I think America's kind of woken up to what's going on. Like, we didn't realize it was what it was. Yeah. Well, can I? Can well, I, I mean, ask something actually is it is it is it what would it 
what would it would would there be anything that would that, that would get you? It's, I have a lot of down. I have a lot of things that are fucked up about me, but I kind of got what was happening with this. Would there would there be anything that would get you to vote for Trump? Like get you comfortable? Yes. Okay, not so, yeah. comfortable. I oh, would really? just do it if I yeah. really, really had to. But my, I think mine's pretty uh, obvious. But I don't want him. I don't, kinda, I, don't want, I don't want him to be the, our president. I don't think it's good honestly, for our no, country. If he came him. out and you know gave a speech about, and he just took some responsibility and he admitted some type of error, but and just showed do, like I don't care. Do I don't care. Just use it against. I don't know who they no, is, but it's an all out. No, war. no. Being presidential is showing, is showing vulnerability at some times. Yeah, and, but people hate him so much that they if he no, shows not vulnerability, true. I disagree. Just use it against. I think him. a small group of people will, but I think most moderate lefties would actually feel a sigh of relief. I, he think just, within the, I think within the American populace probably. Yeah, like if he just think, admitted... But in the media, no. You know, like... There's too many powerful people... presidential is like him. how you talk to people sometimes. Like, you, you're, you have to talk to the American people and communicate with the American... Like, FDR, he used the radio in the radio's early stages, and they'd have a broadcast once a week. That's, yeah, that's and they'd what I mean. pray, and it was like a coming-together thing. The Twitter thing Trump ain't going is, away, folks. No, Trump... It's not uses it's his next, medium yep. to attack people. Yeah, but he also gives us a different perspective. Like he actually he actually breaks the matrix by using Twitter. It has nothing to do with Trump as a dude. The only reason I would vote for Trump is if the Democrats do something sufficiently stupid to give me no choice. What if it was like Trump versus Kamala Harris? I'll I vote mean, for Kamala. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be happy it. about it, but I think I'd vote for Kamala because I actually think Kamala would do really well against Trump as far as like debates and she well, that's great wouldn't the be able to go That's why they're trying the to prop her up. But, but that's what I'm saying yeah. is that she's just Trump. If nothing else, Trump is who Trump is, and we know who Trump is. Yeah, and we know he's kind of he's like an egoist. He's, guy. he's, he's like a, a scumbag pathological guy. egoist. He is, but also, but there's also been some things that he's done. Yeah, that I think have been rather good, and I think as a president, in terms of the effects, other than like w the serious issues, well, uh, are him. But the the thing here's the thing is, we know at this point that the political class in the United States. Like the reason that they, for example, probably, uh, you know, how Jeffrey Epstein just magically committed suicide. Um, it was we, magic, actually. Like, CBS who, reported who, that earlier who today. do you think, who, how stupid do you think people are? Pretty like, stupid. Like, do you think that people think <laughs> Most people are up? stupid, I, yeah. I think. That's why you need to limit the size of beverage you can have at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, but I the think thing is, a lot of people I just are pretty dumb. That's why it's doing that's that. why the Democrat Republican system is set up. It's so like, look, you don't have to do any thinking. Just are you a Democrat? They're just or are you a Republican? They're giving you the, the, like, the, the yeah, what's George I, I Carlin's line, the illusion are, of choice. I think but a that's lot what of I'm people are stupid. Like now we have now we have a moment. So here's my thing. I know I've been in both like quarters. I know that the people that are at the top of these hierarchies of what they are, that they're not we're past the point of just seeing like people of different classes as like good or bad based on their class. Just like here we are in this moment, and as human beings, with given this information, rather than staying involved in these petty um, little infights, you know, and staying in this state of outrage, can we stop and use this information to progress us forward? Well, that's that. That kind of touches on something I was going to say earlier too, and your thing about Trump being kind of an anti-hero, which is he something is. that I sort of agree eh. with. It's like exactly, yeah. So, well, so I'd be interested to hear, but it's like, eh, or he's an, no, or anti -villain. I, don't, I think he's I Actually, think he's so far away. Donald from Donald Trump, ideal. the man, and Donald Trump, the idea, are two different things. Yes. And I've, I've actually written In my too. mind, in terms of the way I've changed my perspective... As, as a social phenomenon, it's different from the guy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, he's a, like, the spirit of Donald Trump is not Donald Trump. <laughs> the spirit, I'm serious. The spirit of Donald it Trump. It is... No, you guys, look. I'm going to start an avant-garde acid jazz band no, okay. called The Spirit Fuck of off. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of and room for improv. The Jews of Great Britain. <laughs> yes, yeah. the Jews of Great Britain. 
That's the uh, Irish punk rock band. The Irish, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Jews of Great Britain. Yeah. That really is a great title. That Both is, of that those is pretty are, good. Okay. Yeah. But no, but I think that that's the thing. It's just like we, <clears throat> when I grew up, we had you know in Catholicism or with all these like things there were like these symbols and like these things and these stories and like the stations of the cross. It took you through the story and you were like supposed to meditate on like what it meant to you and i thought it was so stupid i thought it was so dead at the time it's boring but yeah the thing is if when you go back when you're a kid, back, yeah, you're a kid, sure. you're a kid but no you like go hebrew back, school i didn't go but the all the beginning. kids i knew they were prisoners yeah yeah it's because those institutions no longer had any life in them there was there it's some there were spirits that move through things and people of like again imagine i'm like playing you a song right now or i'm reading you a poem like, mm-hmm. don't look at this as scientific truth. I'm just being like, hey, jam with me for a moment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm down, the, daddy The spirit, but I actually think that's part of what religion is. It's actually a means of communicating along like, hey, guys, yeah. let's jam. Like, totally. But the thing is, it's is part of culture. If we, if we move, like, I think that there's a spirit that moves through certain things. And sometimes there's, we can confuse... Um, the thing that exists, the thing that's concrete, like, uh, you know, a church or like a doctrine or a book or whatever it is with the spirit that once passed through it. And that spirit is still with us and is still looking to manifest itself. And I think that all we can do is look to the things that people loved and the music that people were into. Like, how do you know what good music is? Someone says, hey, hey, I really dig the Beatles. So you back and you dig the Beatles and you learn from the Beatles. And the, like, the spirit of the Beatles is no longer in Paul McCartney. The Beatles is, it's bigger than all of us. It's bigger than all of them. Yeah, it's the not art. them. Led Zeppelin is the Led Zeppelin. So when you're looking at these like uh, the, these scriptures or like whatever of these of the, of these things are, they're like evoking something that's bigger, that's meaningful. I and mean, we're trying to use a scientific mindset to do towards them. Now, I'm someone who was against, you know, a lot of things about religion because of the way that people used it. Right. Everything gets weaponized. Everything gets weaponized. Sure. Everything gets weaponized, and that's why I think we need to rejuvenate. Right. These things we have to find a way of rejuvenating them for the twenty first century. What things rejuvenate? What things? <clears throat> Religion. I don't think we have. I don't think. I mean, there's have, there's a movement to try and. I don't think we religion, have a right proper sense of of meaning and sense making that accounts for the uh, realities of the twenty first century. Does that does that need? I to think come we're from running on that's God. absurd. That's kind of but, the basis but it of wouldn't be religion. Yeah. It would be. Do the we thing have the tools to even create something yeah. like this? I but no, I think that that's the thing. It wouldn't. Do I mean, we do we need to look to the past? In my opinion, no, no, we no. Do. We learn from right. it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, you have to you have to look at what we know in the moment. You have to look at science. You say, okay, yeah, maybe we shouldn't abandon science. Maybe we should stay with that. But when we're thinking about the idea of science, where are we confusing the idea of science with the inevitable social structures that come out of with scientists? If you know what I'm saying, like uh, which, which you that, sound high. I am high. No, hang on. A <laughs> Why did you quote scientists? Okay. <clears throat> As I, I am, I am. I mean, me too, which but, is why I had trouble but understanding. you know how I was talking about the spirit <laughs> of high. white supremacy? The other day I was talking about the <laughs> spirit are. of white supremacy I'm being different from white supremacists. I think that, you know, the idea of science, like the principles of science are extremely important. But just because somebody is a scientist or is these, there is a scientific, uh, you know, a group of scientists that say a certain thing as the media tells it to you, doesn't mean actually the spirit of science to me is actually making sure that the people who are saying all of these things aren't being propped science up or manipulated is, by other sources. Science is the quest for truth. Absolutely, well, scientists. But are that's also partly a, relig- a religious concept, that right? Is and then and our, then and now people are taking is, the truth, which is science, concept. and saying that this is a narrative. Huh. 
you know, everything can be a narrative now. But like science actually is it's different. Like philosophy, but that's a is damn good the search narrative. for wisdom. Exactly. Science is the search for truth. Exactly. So like finding out what is true. Like but even gravity, that people would say is a, is a narrative, and it is. But the thing right, is, that's the a damn point good of narrative. We narrative. like that story. What story? No, but science. The, and that see, story is not a pejorative. If I play you a beautiful song right. If that, you, that's an if, artifact. If, if somebody says, I felt the spirit of God, I felt at one with the universe, does it's that need to be explained? It's a metaphor. But that's, that's all it but, is. Yes, but, it, it, does, it does need to but be again, explained. But again, why? It does, it it does, does need, need to be explained. explained but yeah. it doesn't always need to ex be explained. I mean, Sometimes it depends it in the needs, context of what conversation. Like, it to just me, needs whenever, to be embodied. Uh, you no, know, but it needs to be. I mean, so science is the thing that we could turn to to explain. Explain what might right, be happening. Right, can always there. turn to science. But, no, no, no. You, no, see, here's the thing: is to me, you, it's science remains as important as it always is. Right. Despite science people remains kind of getting exactly up on where it is. It's a strange phenomenon. Yeah. But the thing is, is like when you're um, playing music, mm -hmm. you're not doing science. I mean, there are scientific well, things scientific that actually well, no, but, they're chords, they're notes. But I, I okay, but I you get know what, what I'm mean. saying? You're just yeah. in a different mode. It's tone. Yes. And feel. Yeah. It's feel. There are, tone. There are different well, ways not, of I would, knowing. See, I would yeah. consider I would consider defining science as kind of adhering to the scientific method or whatever. Basically, it's uh, right. But who decides what is? It's an empirical science. search for truth. Uh, well, no, well, I agree with checks and I think it is one of the yeah. best things that for we what have. we know. I mean, there's. I'm theory. just saying that when people say. But but Maybe what, what, what I'm saying okay, okay so let me so what I'm saying I guess is Sorry. that there is like there's a science to music right there's a mathematics to yes it. there's a language exactly but when you're there, there's a science to the language we're speaking now but as we speak but why it, does it make us dance it's well it's like as we it's it's more of a dance that we're doing now than it is just like a you know kind of right. metered out sort of check this statement well, that dancing. I have for you. Exactly, we're yeah. So, right. so same, with, same, with, same, with, same with music. It's like, you know, there is a science to it. There's a logic to it. It's a it. human thing. But when you're doing it, you're not really engaging in... It. You're not looking at it that analytically. You know, it's more intuitive or something mm -hmm. like that. So exactly. it's right. Yeah, and so... But you I, can look at it analytically. Totally. And it can be gratifying. Like, totally. I love you know, listening to a, the technicality of the bass player. Like, yeah. When yeah. I listen to Les Claypool, that technical... Yeah, yeah. Science thing, well, it yes. fucking scratches yeah, awesome. me in the right yeah. place. Mm. But I agree with all of that. No, I know. Yeah. I'm not saying. You well, no, I'm trying to. I'm so trying cool. to flush I out like the figure distinction. Out what I, no, I like. Yeah. I like. Yeah. I like that. I like hearing this articulate. Yeah. This is good. Oh. Well, I'm, I think this is part of what I think. This I, I'm, is part I'm having. Of what I'm having trouble with the like what this. Uh, <laughs> these are the problems that the next generation will face. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Fuck I'm, you. I'm no, having no, trouble no, with I'm most of it. What do you say? Well, I'm saying I'm having trouble with the distinction between the spirit of something versus, like you said. The spirit of white supremacy is not necessarily the same as a white supremacist. It's kind of like mind, which is, body, uh, mind and body. Which is true, but but a white supremacist is just somebody who embodies the spirit of right. white supremacism, isn't it? Right. It, um, a Christian is a person yeah, who but embodies the spirit of Christianity. <clears throat> yeah. That's true. But so the what's thing the separation? Is, those are that the, the individuals... Who, who oh, right. is and, then and I, isn't I, a Christian, yeah. or who is and isn't a Nazi, well, and, or, uh, uh, there or was, whatever, there was a, is something that humans have to determine. Earlier somebody you said we don't, we don't necessarily need to explain if somebody says, yeah, I felt the spirit, or whatever. It's like, no, we don't. But it depends what conversation we're because having. Because somebody if wouldn't convince it, you that they felt the spirit. Well, right, but if, if, the 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 if the conversation we're having is trying to get there at would be truth, truth, then we do need to explain that, and... But we, I, I think kind of like I, here, why, here, why do we find certain here's things my point. catchy here's my and point. certain things not Here's catchy. what I think is actually a piece of wisdom. A nugget? And it is only, it is, let, look at it this way. This is us channeling, I want to like channel, this sounds so lame. Because I would have laughed at this language, but uh, you, uh, uh, pretend no, like this I'm guy used music. to be Mr. Fucking Atheist. Yeah, he no, knew the exactly. spaghetti monster. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I was. If I, I told was... you there was a spaghetti yeah. monster on Mars. Would you believe it? Because you have no proof. Uh, that's very true. I was. <laughs> I was on board with the new atheist too. I was exactly. But that's that why. That's yeah. why I think that some of these ideas might be useful to people because I course. understand where they're coming from. And look, but the <clears throat> whether you are an atheist or whatever, the Bible shaped a lot of what our morality is absolutely totally the old testament and the new testament yeah. but somebody pointing at the book 
The and book's saying, the most important or, thing. The or book or is pointing the at artifact anything. It is not just forever. the Bible. Yeah, yeah, them just saying, like, well, the experts say yeah. that 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 shouldn't matter. There are time. There is a time for everything. But every, you know, you said like the Beatles are not the Beatles. Like every Beatles they song are they are. is an artifact that they've left yes. forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and that's the important. Like that's what artists do. And the artists leave artifacts behind. Just like scientists discover whatever. Like we all, every piece of art. It's going to last longer than us. They leave us I'm going to tell you something in the language that I know, in the certain kind of music that I play, that I think is cool. And some people Have you guys ever jammed together? 80s won't. retro rock? Yeah, I was actually the drummer. But whatever in, uh, it is, I think it's a damn good song. You were the drummer of The Filth? I was. I well, he was. was. For a bit, yeah. Were he you was. at The Boyle Heights show? The Filth was not worthy of No, The Boyle Heights show was ridiculous. Like oh, that, was that M Bar? M Bar was the first our first show, yeah. I, I might have seen you at Silver Lake <clears throat> Lounge. Did no, you, you didn't. You no, that was like? our first few shows. We were with a different guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna say it's like this jazz. Dude. And this is actually from I like Dennis Prager. Of all yeah. I have to say it because I'm just gonna. And then we can move on. I don't really care about it. Fear of God well, is let's the get beginning into of wisdom. Fear of God. What? Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Oh, I I I agree with that. Yeah. The point is, as far as I, it's humbling. It is no, no but like that's. Point. Like I think that's a song. That's a song you should God, really think about. Fear, you should, like, t- like you can trip out. On right, that fear one. in general. Well, fear see, of see, the other so tribe. Fear of God. When I was on the what new, is Israel, like Israel, I means to struggle with God. When I was on the new atheist movement, I hated the word God, and now I don't as much because I struggle to come up with this like all-encompassing concept. Yeah. That's just it's it's. Yeah. The thing Who that's beyond thought? you, it's everything, or right? What, God. If you were paying attention to the new atheists, who would have thought? But but now it's like right, fear of God totally makes sense. Like I yeah, and I do think it's just it's you you learn to you are submissive to something beyond yourself. Yes. You know, yes. a and set that of is principles yeah. or ideas. Or if you spirits. don't understand that, you are probably going to be kind of an asshole. Right. It's very well, exactly. For but children that's the thing too, is, what happens? What happens all throughout the Old Testament? <laughs> People go, people, and everybody talks. Oh well, God's such an asshole in the Old Testament. He it's is. Like, no, no, he's yeah, but, he's, but because the world is an asshole. Yeah, he's, he's, he's throwing a tantrum they're not, a lot of times. The the Old Testament or the the Bible or all of these different stories are not about what we the God what wiped we out want the human race the world to be. It's about what they all, what the world what a nice is. Guy. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a reflection of how reality the is. The reason it's God not, is it's an not a ass. benevolent. I kind of like the Jewish God a little more than the Christian God because the well, Jewish God because like, he's both God honestly, and the devil. Honestly, the Old yeah, Testament is better written and it's much larger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that is that the, the wait. Thing is, I thought it was shorter than the New Testament. No, the Old Testament's bigger. I believe. Is it longer? The Old Testament is gnarly. Testament I haven't really huge. read. I haven't Obviously, read either one. I've never read my most, Bible. It's the thing it, is, it's a different mythology, and but it's also very much the same. It's also like bring that. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. I'm down to get into Epstein if you guys want to get into Epstein. We can get into Epstein, but, but, but I'd love but, to get into Epstein. I, yeah, yeah, no, me just, too. By the way, did anyone see his uh, Manhattan mansion? It's one of the coolest fucking things. Is it awesome? Made. Just the door. How did it's that like, guy make his me, money? Like, I, I was transported to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, how do you think? Fight, he was a chick. How did he get money? He no, he was a um, chicks he, don't sell for that a, much. No, he was like <clears> a financial <throat> advisor. Well, he, he had he, a lot he, on people. He had dirt. Well, first of all, well, think about he was a brilliant mathematician. In order to stay he, quiet, how much would you calculus. be willing to pay for that? If he was were... a calculus teacher in the seventies. Where? Yeah. Where did he? Some college, but he was teaching calculus, and then he got into money management, and he made billions. <clears throat> then he sold his company and made billions, and so he, he was a weird guy. He, he was, was a calculus f- teacher, financial advisor. After that, or what I was? I don't his... know. If financial advisor was the term. I can look it up. He he was like a money manager. How the hell did he get in? He just got into this. Yeah. What is his? What is his? I, I. He popped How do you up. Get into that? He popped up very recently. Like, like this certain dude, people know. How I've to known make about money. him since before the election. I was, was going to say, a professional so I, money maker. Right. I wasn't really paying much attention to him, and I feel like most people weren't. Although he was arrested he was back always, in. He was always no, like a figure. James in Patterson mind, actually in released a book on him in 2016, and and like I didn't right. hear one thing about it. That's until, weird. He yeah, but that's. Oh, I'm just saying. Why now, though? Okay, everything, so like everything is just like there's networks of people, and the the institutional, uh, the institutions that exist now have certain incentives that are filled with people just like you or I, and yeah, those right. incentives are going to act themselves out. Like, well, but we don't get mad at those people. We just all have to look at as people now. Well, we're just not. We're just not directed to pay. Our institutions pay are pathological. To. Right. Yeah, but what's weird is like I, I don't. I I look at like the circumstances of suicide or whatever, and I'm like. <laughs> Did he? Did they let him have a belt? 
Like, how the hell did he actually Well, if you're on himself? Suicide Watch, they don't even give you clothes. They took him off Suicide Watch. Right. That's what's weird. And then he and was he in was a supposed cell to be, He was supposed to get monitored every 30 minutes, and... Oh, and then the video the, goes the, out. Right, like, and the guards didn't watch him every 30 minutes. That yeah, yeah, sounds so goddamn yeah. suspicious. Yeah, it is very suspicious. But at the same time, like, do I think he was suicidal? Fuck yeah. Probably, you seen his yes. mansion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> what yeah, about his gonna mansion like, suggest suicidal he, tendencies? Be, because he lived in a man. He was used to living the high life. Oh, and now okay, he's in I a cell for the rest of his life. And he's condemned yeah, to be Yeah, he'd, he'd rather die than right. be in a cell and And the first time he was in... Children. prison he got what 15 months but he oh. was allowed to like work 15 hours a day or something like he was allowed to go to work six days a week <laughs> for 16 hours bad epstein bet you don't yeah. do that again and that's why uh <laughs> fucking acosta resigned because acosta got him the deal what happened with that yeah he oversaw well, the so originally this is telling he us wasn't gonna get it is originally he wasn't gonna get any, think about it, guys. It, it, they didn't give him, bring him up on federal charges. He, he had like two of the best lawyers. I forget their name. They're famous lawyers, You're right? And they pretty much intimidated the shit out of the witnesses and huh. pretty much convinced them that you will be ruined if you testify. And so he got off on state charges. He wasn't even going to go to jail. And then Acosta stepped in, brought it back to federal, got him the thing, and then it went back to state. And so, according to Acosta, he would have completely skipped jail time completely. So he was at least able to get him some. But people are saying it it was not enough. Jesus. Yeah. So, yeah, he did uh, 15 months in jail, was able to be out of the out of jail 16 hours a day where he'd, like, fuck in his office. He'd get, bring women over. This is all, like, reported. Well, women, probably more like girls, but, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You sounds so much better than you. And, um... That's my well, voice. Gotta, yeah, but I, you're also up on the mic. Is, you're used to being a Jerry mic. I gotta, well, he's got yeah. a better mic than me. I do. I have a yeah, but you're also six really far mic. Away. This is far away? You can turn it up later. Look at him. It'll be good. Look at him. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna have exactly. to mix it. He's playing. He's like, yeah, listen to me. I know what I'm saying, baby. But do you think he killed himself or no? Um, I don't know. I think I think there's... I think either way it's... No, he got, like did I was it got, actually a total fuck up and they were like everyone was negligent and the cameras were off that sounds pretty crazy that's convenient but you guys, that's very convenient but come on was he suicidal I'm just I asking his so. opinion I mean I yeah obviously no, I, don't, I, I think don't know. he was suicidal no, I'm for skeptic, sure I'm skeptical yeah. but I but I, yeah. I don't think it's like impossible that he killed himself right like, I that's what don't. everyone does these days now it's like I think jump right Anthony Bourdain it, yeah. dies like you know he had said something about Clinton a few you know, days. Yeah. he brought up this something about the wait, child wait, wait, sex rings I'm not talking about who did it or why we Anthony all... Bourdain did it it was Anthony Bourdain from the grave no that actually is true which is not the same as the man no I think I think it's very Occam's razor in this situation, and I think this will actually be a thing. So you and don't I think, think we should end on this actually, so that we can get into it more next time. He, because we're going, we're gonna, we're just gonna go too long. It's just gonna burn people out. Why people aren't people aren't interested in yeah, this? Yeah, how come you guys got to do a no. three hour one last time? <laughs> <laughs> having fun. Because I because it, it because people didn't like it nearly as much. But it's Epstein's, when it's Epstein's more. trending now, so we gotta we gotta talk. Yeah, about yeah, we'll, talk, we'll, yeah let's, I'll let's still put him in the mat in the metadata. Metadata. Yeah, I'm. I'm still gonna fun, like tag him. I'm still gonna totally metadata is like a camera. Like it's like an Adobe term. It's where uh, in order to drive like traffic all the to data my channel, from like a video like, file. About? This guy doesn't. <laughs> right, you go ahead. We are talking about him. What? Uh, what? What were you saying about him though? Well, I talked about I talked about him the other day. Because then you started being like, "No, we got to stop." I know, but for people <laughs> no, 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 who are no, no, listening no. to the saying, podcast, I'm just saying we should start to wind down. I'm winding down, and then I think that there's a whole the the Epstein thing. Calm you are. Oh, I'm sure. Calmer than you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Calmer than the, the Chinaman the, is not the issue here. The thing, the thing is, Donnie, the, you're the out of your element, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this, this ain't going anywhere. It's going far. Like it's going. Like we it's got going. to Epstein. It was all good. Now we got to stop. No, no, we can still keep. We can still keep going. What were you saying about Epstein? So, Han, what do you think about it? So, you think Epstein was murdered? Um, I think it's. I think it's a real possibility. Here's my my biggest question about like Epstein being murdered is why did whoever wanted him murdered wait this long to murder him? Some documents came out like the day before he killed himself, that's a good right? Question or died? Mm -hmm. I don't. That's that's like a big loose end to me. Occam's razor points well, to he was murdered. It was right? a surprise arrest. Yeah. They arrested him right at the airport when he was returning from France. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So he didn't like. There was no warning. And then he's in custody. Mm. 
who would who would even most likely be behind it? Oh, the you don't know. I mean, it's the, the deep Clintons. state. It's the uh, deep state. I mean, don't don't see that. Uh, oh, but I know what you're saying. I know the, what you're saying. Yeah. No, uh, I know what you're saying. There I could guess be any, I, I mean, half the, the thing people is, are saying we have it's to find Trump, about, half people are saying it's Clinton. Right. I think we need to find ways. To, the thing is, by even bringing them into this, it makes it difficult for us to talk about. I'm not saying we shouldn't talk about it, but the thing is, let's like, if we avoid the motion, the emotional triggers. I'm not emotionally triggered. I'm 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 actually curious. I mean, yeah, what are you it's a about? it's a legit question. But we're we're just you're just going to be called. A, it is a legit question. But I'm saying it's it's we know it. It's like we're discussing. None of us know the facts. We're just so speculating. I'm really, I am really high, but I but <laughs> your breasts. So this, Max got too high. We're gonna <laughs> end it. <laughs> I'm yeah. saying the thing is, uh, it's like uh, blaming individuals right now. Like I think we exactly. should be talking about no it. Shit. Like, what is this? Like, well, mean? I'm the only one who said like he might have committed suicide. Right. No, that's true. All this could be bo- like BS. I mean, I, I understand. I mean, Sorry, I'm also being. Oh, then like, more I, I also hear reports. You never made, know what's like, real. You have to like literally about, like, research thoroughly, and like who has the time to do that? But you know, you're hearing reports that <laughs> no he one knows. said that he had been attacked. Right now, we're waiting when for that the evidence first to come suicide out. attempt. He said he this is what I think we should right. be pushing. Right, right. We should just like be pushing like rationality, Breasts. And, like uh, more yeah, like w- like breasts. in other words, the media. Is going to need to actually move beyond the the mainstream media, and that doesn't mean like oh, burn down the media, and man, let's get angry and all of this stuff. It's just like let's talk about what we know and what we don't know, and uh, just tell the truth as best we see it. Yeah, well, I think people who are most angry with mainstream media don't watch it. Yep, probably, and they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, the thing I is, watch mainstream see, media, that's it's not the problem. Bad. Crazy. That's another thing that we I can get man, to eventually. I can't, I can't we know turn all on. about people. I can't turn it on. Let me all, let me I tell just, you. As much as we're bitching about the mainstream media, believe me, certain shows. I like understand Lemon, why I people turn off. Yeah, I just thing. I don't I don't know. I maybe I'm tainted being, by certain shows. You know, love Chris like Cuomo though. By rumor. <laughs> Hashtag homo for like, Cuomo. <laughs> Dude, I I every I time I think we're gonna find new institutions to make sense of things. I think that's, I think part that's of what's what happening right now. now. But yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly what's but happening. But I think basically what's happened now is like you know, Google and YouTube and Twitter yeah. and Facebook became the new, you know, Enemy. NBC, yeah. CBS, blah blah blah, you know. Exactly. Yeah. They're yeah. already the way that they've been doing things on YouTube is like upranking trusted sources, right. which you know is just the old mainstream. Here, right. Media you, media you want to really you want a uh, really fucked up pro- provocative idea? You know I was talking yeah. about how it's Epstein like not, committed suicide. Other than that, don't. is like so just, just don't. sorry. sorry, sorry. Don't. At the top, sensitive topic. At the top, I do actually think that there is there is a place for privacy, even amongst like governments, because they're filled with people you like us. You, sir, do. are a sacrilegious what? pig. No, I'm I'm just saying, like I want to I, I want to say, <laughs> I'm like out. There are certain things that is probably Shapiro. good for a country to work that some Clearly, some of us are not I supposed not to know. Someone whose intentions are I, as evil as yours. As <laughs> I obviously you're a member of the political. Let me tell you and something. I don't need to be here. I, I like no. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, I listen to your show that every day. So ass don't hate me. He got was fucking beautiful. It was delicious. It, what, you know what? I, you realize it was him on the BBC. For, yeah, on BBC. Remember With the Andrew guy, Neil. like totally Andrew Neil. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he, he oh yeah, yeah. I Andrew like that. Like, no, I ben lo- you know because it shows what I think it's, it's missing that old school style yeah. journalist yeah. who fucking he'll keep his composure no matter what, mm-hmm. but he will come at you like a fucking bulldog and keep asking oh, yeah. every bad thing until and Ben Shapiro folded. I, and I, I, but at the same I time, was amazed at that because the guy had but a good ben Shapiro, point. But you know what? He did yeah. have a good point. But I like that Ben Shapiro then went on Twitter and said, "And Andrew Neil destroys Ben Shapiro." <laughs> yeah, you got, well, like that yeah, Jewish no, self deprecation is so likable. You got that's no, a classy ben, fucking and that's what Trump needs. Exactly. Trump needs exactly. some self deprecation, like a little bit of humility. He yeah. needs humility. He yeah. needs to like stop his, being his so competitive. Is, is the opposite humble. of humility, which is why he can't yeah. be that's president. We, that's this part is the most powerful man in the world, and he's so flawed. We have to actually fix the problems. As long as Trump is in there, we're not going to be more powerful than Trump. I don't think Trump's got that much power. That's that's I the other the, thing is the, the president, president of is, the United man. States. I think is the most powerful person. In the I world. think the fact that Maybe. Elon Musk, especially during just, wartime, uh, yeah. basically endorsed no, Andrew Yang. So I really, mean, yeah, that's one of the biggest like tech people, like ever. One of the most like smart, 
intelligent yeah. like but, and uh, yeah i think it's i think he's literally a guy who just like he's okay, gonna be gone by the like, fucking iowa caucus he's not he's gonna he's gonna ben, burn me it up then i i i, I will think, bet you one i think american dollar let me tell you disaster. let me tell you something if it's donald trump versus andrew yang andrew yang wins Hands down. Yeah, but right now it's Yang versus the twenty other. Yeah, Democratic because he's offering candidates. everyone free money. But I don't think that, that that's he's not what have it's to about. Follow through. It is, dude. No, I mean, that's a great. It's not all, but that's a huge. Cr- that's you, one. You know what I like, think about Andrew Yang? Thousand dollars a month. It's yeah. No, I'm 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 thinking about it. In a very you also have to opt way. out of I, the, the, other the, the, benefits. That's part of it. it UBI is part of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it's it's right. it to, to me. If there's a way that our that Americans are going to be. I'm okay with like uh, the, the such a big restructuring of the economy. It's going to be in a way where it's not expanding our pathological institutions, our bureaucracies. It's going to be way like okay, we're, what is the government good at? We're going to send checks to people. I mean, I agree. And as but, Americans, but you're al- you're going to allow people to do what they do. It's not about whether either he either gets it through. It's just that he it's he's a guy who's just like. Like you guys are being dumb. I want to solve some problems now. It's enough with You're with the like children. But with the candidacy, he's got to make it through the primaries first, and I just don't see that happening. He's gonna do it. Why? Who who right now? Biden or Harris? Biden. Yeah. Biden. No. Biden people. Is people. An old, some people have an money on doof. Warren. Yeah, he's an old doof. Warren. But he's also Warren the most moderate. The bigger threats, I would say. But but now, she'll lose. She's gone. People think people think actually she's we got don't a know. Shot. Actually, yeah. she might actually. Yeah, she, well, I she's think she's passing Bernie. I think right. she has a shot. Yeah, but Warren is carrying the Bernie torch. Bernie made a smart move by going on Rogan. That yeah, was a smart. Yeah, move. that was a good idea. It was yeah. a very smart move. Buttigieg actually could have done something if he would have trusted. So why don't you guys like him? Because I actually didn't. found him. And Buttigieg very is a lot about it. Yeah. Buttigieg actually. I think he's he, super smart. Um, but he is. I think served that, our country. Yeah, absolutely. And and I of course. Respect so, that, he, but, but he did I, think he, made, I he think he made. I think he made the wrong move in well, capitulating to the wrong uh, forces when Ruben invited him on his show. I mean, exactly. Miriam Williamson got a boost in the polls from going on Ruben's show. Like she yeah. got, she became visible. It's and it's it, a symbolic gesture. Ex- Buttigieg. I mean, everybody who watches stuff like Ruben or Rogan or like IDW stuff. They're kind of just like the neutral, just like, well, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, you can sway me one way or the other, you know? Mm-hmm. So obviously that's who you should be reaching out to. Yeah. I thought it was really weird that I, it, this is the way Dave Rubin framed it, so I don't know if it's necessarily true, but basically he ex- he says that he extended an offer to Buttigieg to come on the Rubin report. They initially, I think, accepted, and then they declined because somebody contacted them and said Ruben's a bigot or blah blah, you know Ruben's a Nazi oh, blah 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 yeah that blah. got cold feet people it, that are it, which I I think you shouldn't be afraid to do so that's don't on don't YouTube. accept and then although Trump did this that's actually fair. in the original um in the in the primary that's fair I think that's fair he accepted a debate request from Bernie Sanders and then turned it down. If I'm if I'm not getting my history incorrect, like uh, Bernie was like, "I'll debate. I will debate you on the debate stage. I will see you there, and we'll all get the pudding or whatever." You know, as Shapiro would say. Like, and and Trump initially accepted and then let it just kind of fade away. I think Buttigieg just made an error there, and I'm seeing him, you know, kind of nod and wink at the at the kind of more PC strains of the left in a in a way that's turned yeah. me off. People are looking for someone who's above it. Exactly. Yeah, and Yang has we actually see, we see the dance. somehow navigated these stupid. waters. Yeah. No, but I think Buttigieg because he is, is less petty. above it. No, I think Buttigieg is above it. That. What? No, I think Buttigieg naturally is uh, Buttigieg, whatever his name is. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things I, think I like is, about that guy. I, I think, yeah, I just, Mayor something Pete. about But he's, yeah, he's Mayor starting Pete, to listen he, uh, to people he shouldn't be listening to. Pete, dude, if you want any chance. I'm just, yeah, I'm mostly only. Be Pete. That's it. I mostly know him from the debate. That's it. I just thought the people were going to drive this conversation now. He was the least narcissistic be... person up there. It was probably Buddha. Well, that's Jack. what I'm saying. That's why and he needs to stop listening. I love that. And just trust your gut. Like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, he just had a natural benevolence and was all was just not petty ever. Yeah. Uh, I thought like fucking Swalwell the first debate like went after him <laughs> and made a total ass out oh, of himself. Swalwell, Swalwell was a dude, jackass. What a jackass. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but I, I think Buddha, Buddha Judge has a career. Important but thing: he's not going to be the president. Media, yeah. LA people who are what, whatever taste. I'm saying like the things that we're saying in terms of understanding TV and understand 
understanding narrative and media and all of this stuff. Like, we're telling you. We're t- like, I was, like, you saw what happened at the last debate. I'm telling you. Oh, with Yang. Pete, like, dude, stop. Stop listening to them. They're old and dumb. Say what you mean. That's it. Well, right. Period. You don't even have to have ideas that I agree with. You no, just have I, to, we just right. to that you're speak smart. your mind and be authentic. And by like, the way, you're... Yeah, he's down big time by the fact that he listened to the first place. Yeah, yeah, well, not even. I need to. I need to feel like you're speaking from your heart. And exactly. Buddha Judge is smart enough to be able to do that. And he's, he's just. He's I think he made a pivot people. that I think is irredeemable. Yeah, I, yeah. I just. I All can't right. get back with it. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's the thing is, I don't think he's gonna. I, I can't he, vote for him. Now. I think he just made an unwise. And that move bothers me. Really? Because that dude yeah. had potential. I'd vote for him. Well, he's he's smart as fuck. I mean, yeah, he's a super I'd vote smart for him over Trump. Yeah. Well, he better he better he better make that pivot real soon, and you better make it explicit, dude. He just he just capitulate. It's like it's like if you my entire like you know political life has been on the left and whatnot. I've always been pretty liberal, but you know now I'm I guess I'm moderate based on current standards. You're a centrist liberal. That's yeah. what we are now. Or I, I always I'm say, calling I, it I'm I say calling it a, a tragic yeah. liberal. Yeah. yeah, I just I just I don't like. I take the tragic view left. of life. Yeah, but like. There's just this strain of the left that's become absolutely impossible to communicate with, and that's where I'm like, look, if you're winking and nodding at them, like, look, I think Trump was disgusting when he did it to the uh, alt right or that wing and wing of the right yeah. during the election when he was just like, yep. like I don't, I don't think he's, he's steering the machine back. I, I don't think he's a, a like a terrible racist or anything, but no, I think when he's I. when he's you know doing this to him, it's like, dude, I'm not so sure. It's politically convenient. But, but, but here's the thing is, is th- this is what bothers but me. But what Buttigieg did to, The to Democrats me, are playing the same is, game. Just, yeah, they're all... Just they're Trump is being yeah, no, the kind Democrats of honest are playing about the game. it. Yeah. And in this environment, where all of you guys are pretending to be above it... Oh, dude, dude we see it. I'll take the honest asshole if I have to. Yes. It, well, that's, that's the point. Trump God, is not do honest, it. though. He's honest about God. certain things, he's, but Trump is he's a, a bullshit. Yeah, but he's a believable bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, that's he just thing. Yeah. It's, he's so consistently bad as a person that it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's... We yeah, kind of know what he's going to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know about that. But, but the yeah, thing well, is... We, we, we might know what he's going to do, but we don't know I the keep, last I keep, thing of facts. Because right. he seems very, like... Uh, Kind of hot-headed and careless. Oh, he just kind of does things. Yes. He is. Yeah. All of and the we things. don't know how that's going to affect us. In the I also long think term. that's I, why I, I don't want him to be president. I've wondered about exactly. this a little bit. If if he intentionally one of surrounds himself with people who disagree with him, because he's constantly he doesn't listen to any of them. Yeah, but, but he surrounds himself with those people. Yeah. Maybe because he's smart enough to know that he is right. an egomaniac and he needs checks on his own. He yeah. does. I'm impulses. actually glad he doesn't listen. He to was like a John big enough egomaniac, you know. To That's be able to come call. into figure there. Like an he would have told Dick Cheney to go fuck himself. That wasn't working. That's a positive thing about Trump. <laughs> if Dick Cheney what? was Trump's VP, he would have told Dick Cheney to go fuck himself. Yeah, I go. Yeah, no, well, no, no, no. Dick Cheney no, would not have charge. had a hold on Trump the way he had on Bush. I think. Well, there's what, a good reason that we have checks and balances it's like, in this country, and for people like I think, Donald Trump. I think what's coming. But it took that kind of personality. I'm sorry, in order to be able to. Break exactly. through and give us the information we need but I to make as, our democracy as better. As the country loses its mind, I think something's coming. I think I think rock and roll or whatever that is is going to come for back. The arts. Oh, and great for the arts. I think I think the 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 reason is that people they it's mm-hmm. not what they agree with or disagree with. It's they need something they feel is real. There was a void that can be filled by authenticity, and that's it. And that's why I think. Uh, there's a there's a place for art. Probably gonna it's fucking back again. And I I, I still think, I think the, it's a very, I, very 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 very. I, I think there has almost been a definitely. lot of shitty art though because of this too. Totally, but what I'm like saying is I'm talking about what's coming down the pike. I'm, right. I, think I think that something's coming because enough people are just sick. And, I mean, a reality TV star is our president. Let's be real. Like, yeah. Holy shit! If we the don't change, nothing. Because we know that he's right. being more real with us. That. That, that that's, guy, the, that's the core he's principle. Being yeah. more this real dude to is us more authentic than, than a fucking politician. You are. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a disturbing reality. Do not. <laughs> you but it's a reality that's been around it? forever. Like people, like crooked politician. That's nothing new. Right. You know? Exactly. But it's it's what did uh, what did Shapiro say about uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez? He said. Um, she says the quiet parts out loud, which is what you were kind of talking about earlier. Fuck with the, her. Right, oh, with the progressives who, who just, like... <laughs> no, 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 I both. Well, yeah, but, no, no, but Trump does the same thing. He just 
all the ugly shit that we're not supposed to talk about that we've always complained about. I'm sure I only met you today and I'm sure all three of us for our entire political politically conscious lives have complained about the bullshit fabrication that dominates politics. It's just the inauthenticity. Absolutely. Right, because everyone's guy, worried about their career and being reelected. And here's a guy so who's real, and hear. it's even more revolting than the fake so, stuff. Yeah, so figure your shit out, very, Washington. Figure very, your shit out, America. It's very profound. Yeah, right. Like we're we're looking at we're looking we we took a face mask, pulled up all the pimples, and looked at ourselves in the mirror, and we're like, ooh, that's horrifying. Yeah, I thought this thing was supposed we, to. We cleanse weren't as us. wonderful. There's as a time we thought for everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a time for everything. Right. Sometimes you got to look at your pimply ass face in the mirror. Isn't it odd that all, you gotta pop the all the all the all the people a time to pop you guys you guys started on the time you, to not pop from the left right and and yeah, yeah. there was there was like growing my up, family was right. everybody was the social issues like I yes. don't identify with the the Bible Belt like values but that's not really gays they don't really care about that right now. Yeah. like but the, do you hear the, do you hear just being this hypocrites discussion? right now they have they have yeah. But, but right but when they like, get a Catholic back in, they'll be right those are back. But, but what's those interesting is, is growing up, everybody wanted to, at least in my in some ways. political circles or whatever, they wanted to, you know, blow the system up, start it over, whatever. And then we get a guy in there who's we should start blowing the fucking system up, and everyone hates him, who I thought would have previously it. liked him because they wanted to blow it up. Like, because dude, they thought, they because thought, it, it, his work is nuts. <laughs> but the thing, here's the thing is, he thought, People seem to think that when the time came, when the time came, it was just going to be easy. Like when 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 Hitler came around. Have you? Do you really think Donald Trump is Hitler? Like wouldn't? No, 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 no. Yeah, well, the pressure. Just, like the, we need to get beyond that. Donald as a Trump would definitely not be Satan. No, <laughs> no, Satan is charming. But here's the point well, I'm saying. Well, when Satan's the time good looking. comes, Trump's got a quaff. Yeah. When when the time comes, that's true. For someone pretty like that, pretty charming. It's not going to be somebody who the entire mainstream establishment is calling Hitler. It's going to be someone who comes no, in a It's going to be more of an Obama much character. More. Yeah. It will. It will be someone who is attractive and likable. The, the myth oh. of the devil it will be a is, is a yes. charming it's, it's a seducer. man, yeah. most likely a exactly. politician, a vampire. who will amass followers. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, that's not he's a, hand, Donald he's a Trump. charming that's, hand. Donald Trump. Donald is the Trump opposite. is a warning. Exactly. Yeah. What is he going to get away with? Everybody's got their eye on him constantly, which is a very good thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. What makes like, America America? Let's take the fever pitch down a little bit. I think until we can get past being like this guy's Hitler, dude. All these comparisons to the fucking Holocaust and the Gestapo. I'm like, okay, look. There are very many good reasons to hate Donald Trump. Like, they, they abound, you know? Right. But, but let's get back to reality where we're talking about real issues versus this guy's Hitler. Seriously? Right. And Come by on, the give, way... Give me a break. Until we can get past that, we don't make With what just happened with Epstein, that says a lot about some of the other... A lot of things about a lot of the other people that are sitting there preaching about morality all the time. Oh, oh right. We don't know who it is. Yeah. Well, but at least he doesn't really if, preach about morality. If, very he doesn't preach about morality, but he has preached about Epstein. Like he loves beautiful women even more than I do. He likes him young. Some of them on the younger he side. He likes him a little young. He's Great a, guy. Although I will say I was I reading about, about it earlier about today, and he. It's from 2002. It's so he kind of like he knew Epstein, and then when he got a report from this chick who was working at Mar-a-Lago. Right, he banned, he banned, banned Epstein. I also heard that he yeah. banned Epstein once. A lot about Trump. Ab Epstein, yeah. Well, no, I heard also, though, that... And the chick who Epstein accused Epstein said arrested, he didn't have sex After Epstein was arrested, they banned him. So that does... Oh, okay. I'm not that sure that which one it is. Different. Although, like I said, the, the chick who is accused... Yeah. One of the many who is accusing Epstein... I probably shouldn't refer to him as chicks. The broad who was accusing uh, Epstein. Uh, uh, the broad. <laughs> we'll get a little East Coast. This floozy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel um, like West Coast is like, you yeah, chicks. And yeah, East chicks. Coast is like broads, man. These fucking Just, broads. I, I fucking I broads. Like, but the, she, the, said, the women, she said that, she said that Donald like Trump did not ever... Trust me, women don't want to be called chicks. She said yeah. that... Yeah. that, yeah. that some do. That some... some well, that's a different fuck conversation. Fuck stuff once. Um... But that's but the, but the, the, I'm this a chick, cool chick. This this chick said Trump didn't try anything with her, and right. like, like explicitly, explicitly, you know. I agree. I don't think Trump's a pedophile or Neither a sexual I. predator, but yeah. I mean that 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 shit with uh, Jeb with Billy Bush in the bus that was just disgusting. I, see, I don't care. Like, I don't, but when you're that powerful, and you're like, I just start kissing him. 
I, and they let you because you know so, how many people have probably said that exact same thing. I mean, that's that's my take on it. To me, I'm not so sure he did that. Serious though. No, he's no, mad. This is a billionaire who's I admitting, was, like, I no, I, was, I, I, my ego is so out of control that I carry tic tacs. I just kissing them. Yeah, who says I carry tic tacs? Because I might just start kissing someone. Dude, that's well, that's the he's that's the funny thing. Star that's that's the funny thing. His wife's any any man who's everyone. ever gotten girls it's successfully, ambiguous. yeah, we'll say that, shit like, uh, yeah, like. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying that I just I just start kissing him. I can't even. I just carry tic tacs. Personally, I've never, never had the confidence like, just to start kissing anyone. So I don't personally. No, but it's, it's a, I think I think that whole thing, like the reason Trump got away with it, is because like, dude, I think most people accepted his locker room talk explanation. They, they just yeah, but they, then Billy Bush is like. But then you actually saw like Billy Bush being like, "Hug the Donald." Come on, give the devil uh, the yeah, hell. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's no, the thing is, we're like, starting to. The thing is, it's people gross. were pretending. That's gross. People, people were it's gross, but it's not people criminal. That's were, my. People, no, people were pretending to be it's surprised. For sure, about not presidential. Then it's again, not like let's, an, look, at, like uh, let's look at let's look at let's look at Kennedy's like some Kennedy's guy. White House, you know, or Clinton's White House, you know. Totally. I think. I think. Oh, Monica Lewinsky, dude, that's a tragic. Look, here's the problem. I think people were pretending. See, here's what people find condescending. People were pretending. Pretending to be surprised that that kind of thing is said. That's, that's, I didn't believe that. It was offensive to yeah. me that you thought that we were so stupid. Do you not think we understand how Wait, the world, it's not, you like, works? You don't hear stuff like that on a mic every day, like a recording. No, but I've said worse shit. Yeah, but you're not running for Oh, I've not. I, I, I actually First of all, this is a guy, though, in his 50s. I'm sure. I've never, I've never said anything like that. Like I'll stand by that. <laughs> yeah, I'll just start I'm, grabbing I'm, him by the pussy. I grab him by the butthole. Yeah, <laughs> much more convenient. I mean, no, I've, I've, I've just, I mean, I've definitely said some perverted shit, but for me, it's always a joke because it doesn't happen. Yes, yes. but know? but but what he's Unlike doing? Yeah, in college, you would make some comments, yeah, but you never I did. I say I'd grab someone by the pussy. But exactly, but that goes to show yeah. it doesn't. Grab no, someone by the pussy actually. doesn't even make sense. It that's how, that's why would you, you know grab him by the riffing on his fucking celebrity? Joking? He's he's for sure being a dick. Haven't you ever seen the Statue of Liberty illustration where he's grabbing the Statue of Liberty by the Yeah, I actually, I have that hanging in my kitchen. Oh, actually, oh, No, you can grab someone by the... But, like, it doesn't... It's like, that's not a thing that you do. It's like, I just go grab their tits. That would have been, like, whoa, dude. But going down to the pussy, it's even more violent. It's obviously so more He was saying something... He was saying something that is clearly, on some level, acceptable within the highest echelons... I mean, I mean, now with thing. Epstein dead, with yeah, Epstein's a billionaire, it's, it goes to I, show. Don't, I don't buy that for a second. It's no one accepted grab him. No one has ever grabbed anyone. No, but I'm just saying a, they can't pretend like they're naive enough to not know oh, when there they, are well, people they, that are very powerful who say things like that and probably they, they behave they, they in do, those they, ways. They, absolutely, right. yeah. And but Epstein is is evidence towards that. I, I I don't know. Epstein is a weird figure, but I think when you when you look at that, what I saw at least. And what I think a lot of like people of all classes do. What I saw was a guy who is obsessed with his own celebrity, who can't get enough of himself, who wants to show it off to everybody all the time. Here's this billionaire in a bus, and Billy Bush is sucking up to him because Billy Bush is a fucking he's spineless next to a douchebag. And he's like, yeah, I mean, you he want to works, be on a billionaire's good he's side. He's in Hollywood. People were like, yeah. like surprised by the fact that Hollywood is depraved. No, see that. What the hell is that Honestly, phenomenon I these days? Hollywood tries to be all like virtuous. <laughs> yeah, get, give me a break. Fuck off. Give me a break. Fucking Weinstein. Weinstein. He. Yeah, but how's your career? I actually I knew about the Weinstein. little man. I make films I knew about that, that shit. I'm a nobody. <laughs> Fucking everybody in Hollywood knew about that shit. It's true. Everybody. But the thing is, I don't think everybody knew the specifics. No, everybody no. knew. Was no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, I, but what, I don't think they knew he was. But he was on Stern way before any of that happened, and Stern even just had the intuition to be like, so do you ever get in any casting couch situation? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and, did he say yeah, Oh, and, yeah. And oh, Harvey oh, Weinstein, yeah, no, yeah. no, Harvey Weinstein goes, that doesn't really happen anymore, Howard. Uh, that doesn't oh. happen. Stuff like that doesn't happen anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, sack of oh, shit. Okay, see, I hate that more than yeah, grab him by I, the pussy. I hate that more, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, one is being a braggart douche ass. One is being the devil. Yeah. <laughs> That's one is one is lying. Things like that Keeping don't happen. The oppression that is gross. No. That is very gross. I don't like it. Yeah. That's, oh, why, no, that's why I don't like that they put people like Louis C.K. in the same No, I wrote, I wrote a whole article about that, too. That guy... 
Look, that's another thing I can't relate. We're, I couldn't imagine that, just gross. getting naked and be we like, really can I are. masturbate in front that of you? That sounds to me like so self-deprecation more than anything. Right. Like, I hate myself. Would you mind if I humiliate myself yeah. in front of you? Like, nah. Exactly. Still, I understand why it's wrong and the whole power I'm just situation. Saying, I think I'm, on, actually I'm on a, I'm on a bad, I'm on a bad has. side of this situation. I don't think he did anything wrong. <laughs> I really don't. I think it was, yeah. I think it was cruel. I, maybe, it's maybe it was. Nice. Maybe. It, it put them cool. in a really weird Although he, But how, how do you ask Once someone? he has the d power dynamic, but he's been apparently, allegedly, doing that for years. So he was doing it oh, yeah, when he didn't have Sarah any Silverman. status at all. Yeah, he oh, did Sarah Silverman. Right. I mean, how are you supposed to He's ask? been successful since the 90s. I mean, he wrote for Conan. and That's true. He, he's had jobs, but yeah. he wasn't a super celebrity. No, he didn't become like a super recent, dude. Yeah. And he has one of the greatest stand-up specials I've ever seen. 2017? That's my second favorite. Oh, what's your favorite? Chewed Up. Oh, Chewed Up's so good. Did you hear his the newest, opening? His, his leaked one? No, is that like a new one? I'd love to hear. I mean, he is he's amazing. So, he starts with just like, so how was your guys' year? Yeah. And he's like, I lost a lot of money or something. And then he's like, I'm not going to tell you how much I lost. And then he's like, uh, all right, all right. I'll, look, in one day I lost $35 million. <laughs> he goes straight for, he, he fucking straddle. Uh, he is a genius. He's a comedic genius. Genius. Yeah. And I, I, I don't think asking chicks if it's cool, if I do this disgusting thing, is a crime. You know, I, I do think it's depraved and fucked up. I couldn't imagine yeah. myself doing it. Yeah, it just shows that he didn't think of these people as much of anything. I think he because they were also comedians. Yeah, and but that's I think kind he, of his way of saying, "Look, I'm not interested in." You no, I think I think it's I his way of. My it's his. It's his. He gets off on his own humiliation. It's. It's. Right, no, it's funny, but that doesn't make it right. Yeah, that doesn't surprise anybody. Of course, Louis, no. Louis C.K., we know he's just like self-loathing. Right. Yeah. I love oh Louis Oh, my C. God. I'm his, sorry. His Cinnabon bed is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I'll, ha I'll have a fat faggot treat. <laughs> yeah, with the hot cum. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm of course I want the hot cum. I don't know. Whatever. I think, I, think, uh, I think it's a very long time, and I would like, I would like to keep it. It's already been a couple hours, a few hours. Okay, probably, we will. We should probably stop. We'll sign off. Um, Let me finish my beer. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna finish my beer. Uh, I just like to point out that uh, uh, gender is a social construct. Um, cows are destroying the planet, and cow farts. Yeah, cows via their farts, <laughs> and. Um, Racism is a serious problem in a, in America. So there we go. That's you know, by systematically it. torturing cows and breeding them for food, we've actually preserved the cow population. That's true. If it wasn't for humans, cows wouldn't be right. here. They're no, very we, successful. Now we're talking about killing them. They got a lot no, of them. It's horrible, but basically, Poor bovines. Yeah, we take, we took a small part of the population of cows, and we were like, okay, like they're too these dumb ones to do we're gonna anything. let like do their own thing, but this population we're gonna basically raise in a concentration camp and we're just going <laughs> to breed them so we can kill them and eat them. Yeah. That's fucking figure. dark. It's, it's like the same thing. We have we, to it's learn like the same as like farm meat. raised. Same, like, you know, it's time. For a long time we overfished and we almost made the whole fucking ocean empty. So we started farm raising, which means we took a couple salmon. Yeah. We just started breeding the shit out of them yep. and we just eat yep. those. I know, I know we want to end it, but it's such a fascinating topic to me that so many people today are like averse to history. It's like, look, I don't think a lot of people understand the misery and suffering that went into becoming who we are today. This is the safest time to be alive. Right. right. And, and that's it. See, see, I, I imagine you're, you're slightly to the left of where I am. I would yeah. say because you, you said you would yeah. never vote, were really I won't. I could never vote for Trump, vote for Trump unless I could he do did it. like a 180 degree turnaround. Okay, and yeah, I apologize. I, right, but and, and even then it raises the question of what kind of apology could he give? Right, I would have to see yes. real leadership. Yes. Yeah, so for me, I could do it, but it's it, the reason we're able to talk. I think is because. Again, we can agree that like there's all this straight white males. Yeah, that's what it is, I guess. It, but We're there's privileged enough this to agree. Privileged enough. To Actually, have the there is a certain. But we can agree. There's some truth in that. We can agree. BS. Some truth. BS. There's like, some some hold truth. Hold on, hold on. We can okay, but keep going. Well, you know, Louis K's joke. Time travel is a white privilege. <laughs> And there is some truth we, to white privilege. Yeah, we we agree yeah, though. Absolutely. Black people wouldn't go back before 1980. We we agree though that there's just certain rhetoric that is just it's just like 
it's, it's almost like, like background noise. It's like I'm trying to hear you, but I, somebody right. keeps yelling into my ear right. about some fucking shit about the transgender blah blah. Someone's trying to win the <laughs> argument by because we're like not as rational as we think you. By like by like right. bullying you into winning. Uh-huh. Right. Fuck, Fuck you. Like, exactly. These people, like, you, you ever get into an argument with them, they're useless on their own. But if they're with more than two of them, shit, yeah, what's the never be able to get a word hominem? in. Yeah. Ad hominem, yeah. totally. And you yeah. know what? I'm down to go down that route if I right. want, and I'll probably win. <laughs> I, I, I've that. been, I've been defending myself from trolls my whole life. Yeah, which is why you're an effective <laughs> troll. Exactly. 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 Yeah. And I think I think with that I want you to plug all all your shit. I'm going yeah, to great band. Plug all your I'm going to plug the absurd at the absurd band on Instagram, at the absurd band on Twitter, at the absurd LA on Facebook. We just released a music video for a song called Build the Wall. We'll put all this information below. It'll be it'll be there. We're a really cool rock band from Los Angeles. They play rock so and roll. We're cooler than you. And that's yeah. really what you should know. Yeah. Actually, Ben's exactly. one of the few ben handsome Fork? guys. I never introduced you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you caught that last podcast. Yeah, See, for being a broadcast, I thought it was actually interesting. But yeah, you know, I didn't. Find, no, I thought it was the same quality as the first, except you know, it was just longer. But you guys was, talked about some cool shit about high school. I thought it was interesting. I listened to it being it was like, just, man, I wish I could have been part of that conversation. Oh, that would have been said. That would have added a. Oh, really you added interesting a lot dynamic. to this. Yeah. This was this. I mean, I would say this is about exactly what I expected. Cool. Yeah. Oh, this this is, is, Say I was just like, hey man, let's show up and jam. And I bet you these people will all be able to play. This has been good, together. except for the fucking camera cutting out and <laughs> after I got audio I, I, at the end, yeah, I got, thank God. I shouldn't have smoked any weed. Okay, we won't next me, time. Like, really, you did. Yeah. You did start to go off on several tangents that there didn't were, make there sense. Was like a lot no, but no, there, there was, was actually there was, a lot. Uh, to me, no, they did. I, I'll need to look you, tomorrow. You, you like, dissect it. You sense? break it down and you bring it to me in the condensed I, yeah, form, please. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> That is one of my no, problems. Something I about spirits. Like, you know, like, I didn't know what to expect either. I there's know, something like, about, there's something to that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know, I, like, I are we going to argue a lot? Is there going to be yeah. a lot of disagreeing? But yeah. when you talk to each other like human beings right. and you listen to each other, right. like, things. all we're doing is we're trying to talk this out and we're mm. trying to, you know, be better and make yes. better decisions in life exactly. and, you know, yeah. be compassionate and, yeah. and also just keep the conversation going and yeah, have a good exactly. time with it. Yeah. Always have, always keep your sense of humor because the world oh, is pretty dude. fucking Without unforgiving. Humor? So you yeah. got to be able to laugh at yourself. You got to have gotta. a little self-deprecation. Jesus, where did humor go? Where Seriously. the fuck did everybody Amen. takes everything to the right? So see, it went to the right. It's because the internet. The Everyone on the fucking yeah. internet. Yeah. There's someone who's like, you know what? That's offensive to Hindu people. So <laughs> uh, fuck you. We're boycotting. And it's Speaking like, of, are, are Krishna's Hindu? Is that what they are? Oh, she, no. oh, oh your girlfriend I came did. to town. Yes, my girlfriend came to town. I'm going to play some video of that Now, right which now. girlfriend is yours? Was it uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, her, oh, I thought we were talking yeah, about the music video. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. But Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard. That was so exhilarating when she called out Kamala. Oh, she killed her. So and she, Kamala was in that gray suit. She's always in that fucking gray the suit. The Hillary Clinton pantsuit. Yeah, she's like, and then Tulsi comes in so vibrant. Sexy. I, I said, said on the last vibrant. podcast that and I think, just, just I think Kamala Harris is just like I think awesome Kamala Harris is just upset that Tulsi Gabbard is the younger, better looking version <laughs> of her. And Tulsi Gabbard is served. She came okay, she came to she came to Venice. I went down there last Sunday. Didn't yeah. didn't know what was going on. I had taken various substances uh, okay. and psychedelic some, of the psychedelic some, some variety. Vitamins. Yeah, some vitamins. I didn't know that. Minerals. Like I went down there. Seeds, yeah. Black seed meal. So I go down there and raw oats. There's a whole Krishna festival going on of some kind, and then I'm like, okay, the the, the colors were awesome. It was every color of the rainbow, great. All right, so we walk up, and then there's this, like, old white guy with, I'm sure, plenty of privilege, and he's like, <laughs> something about something, and he's just like, we should, we should, you know, respect our fellow, whatever. I'm like, all right, let's walk away, whatever, this is no fun. And then as I'm walking away towards the beach, I hear the guy go, and now introducing Tulsi Gabbard, I'm like, did I, Girlfriend? Did I just hear that? Girlfriend! <laughs> like, I ran back. She talked for like three minutes. It was a really weird talk. She was wearing some Krishna stuff. I remember not being that at, like I was like stick to things that matter. It was you went and saw her? It, okay, so it borders. It borders. It, no, it was. It borders on pandering 
to like the Krishna community, which is a very niche community in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> She's really going hey, after those short. folks. Showing up and just saying three minutes of shit. I, I loved it. I mean, but, and then she did a meet that and says greet something. on Abbott Kinney in, uh, in Venice after that. He had actually texted me earlier in the day, and then lo and behold, I'm like, let's go. I was at the pre event for her meet and greet, and she just said, she just, when I was in the army, I prayed to Lord Krishna. Like, she used the phrase Lord Krishna. Like, I have some video of it. Maybe I'll put it up somewhere. I don't want to like, hear this. I don't either. Because I was, <laughs> after that second debate, I was like, Fuck Dude, yeah, Kamal, Kamala went wider than oh, her suit. I was amazed at how Kamala poorly like, prepared she was for that shit. Dude, like she literally. Yeah, but her what face. would you do if you go to the fucking Christian festival? You could festival. feel though her oh, like, oh, yeah. Krishna, You could feel the gut punch. She literally went. Oh, it was, it was, so <laughs> it was brutal. No, but she did. Kamala? She said. She said, oh, yeah, yeah. Lord Krishna, and she said we we by practicing bhak the uh, meditation every day or whatever, and it was just kind of like. Eh. I don't believe you. But I think okay. every politician is going to do some of that. With that, we whatever. Can be I'm, I'm, I'm with thinking long term. I'm getting, lo I'm getting the low battery thing. That anyways. is, that is an issue. Miles, okay, this is Miles Stellar. Uh, if you're willing to have this, I, yeah, I, uh, I do freelance video production. You can check out my Vimeo account, <laughs> Vimeo.com/slash Miles Stellar. <laughs> Working on an event we're doing July 23rd. I probably should promote it after this, uh, but anyway. <laughs> July 23rd, August huh? 23rd. We're going back in time. August 23rd, we're doing like a, an event at the Saban Theater uh, commemorating Sugihara. Oh, cool. The Japanese diplomat who freed a bunch of Jews during the Holocaust, gave him nice. visas to leave yeah. Europe. And George Takei will be speaking ah, uh, oh. along with uh, Greg Watanabe, and it's going to be a great event. It's by the Mankind Project, nonprofit. We're doing fundraisers to help out mankind. Breasts. Well, there you go. I don't know how breasts. Breasts. I don't, breasts. I did, some, breasts. Some guy with a bunch of swastikas has commented on the last, oh. like. No, no, I, I, yeah. You know, I should respond to it's that. It's like guy. his icon. No, 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 no. But it's that. not Nazi. It is. But, but it's, you can tell. I wonder if he'll comment Nazi. again. Uh, no, I probably you can say something. I want to, because I want to talk to people, because I, I think he's starting to. Some people are scared and oh, they, they feel intimidated by the I, I responded to him. Yeah, you did. You did, it. and to me, he's trying to like. To me, that logo doesn't say, like, oh, what the swastika. Nazism. Well, that's no. Christian privilege. <laughs> the Jews don't think that at all. They see the swastika. No, but if you look at the way he meant it, I think, I think, I think the swastika in the old way. There are it's a of, rainbow. It's a rainbow swastika surrounded by. It's. It, to me, it borders on the. It, it scares me in the same way that Pepe and Kesh. Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. Yeah. But to me, I think that you have to remember. Every it's just, just people. Not that I'm scared. People I'm are a, concerned, man, and they so. know that the mainstream narrative is failing. So I think that we should be engaging with everybody, and yeah, we should hear what people have to Certain say. People you can't engage with. Dude, I don't, I don't think, think everybody. Like, I'm I don't glad think we didn't just, engage I don't think everybody's Hitler. just some like terrible. Like, look, we have, we have, like, I don't think that's how we have our disagreements, works. you know. But no, we dude, see the world mostly the there. same way, except for you want to kill all the Jews, and I don't. Yeah, you know? exactly. that's, <laughs> I want to live. You yeah. want I think dead. most. <laughs> I think most people. I think that individual right there would have said, "I don't want to kill anybody." I'm interested to see what he has to say. I want. I want. I want us, all of us, to be able to have the circumstances where we can have. The kinds of conversations that we need to be having, and I will not a Jew and a Nazi scared. walk into a bar. I will not talk to anyone <laughs> with a swastika. And that's it. And hopefully the SPLC I kind of draw the, be like, draw the they have all these alt right Nazi <laughs> trolls yeah. following them. Oh, that's, that's who. Oh yeah, I forgot. No. We're the all right. Yeah. Oh, Max, oh yeah, Max, Jesus. you're a bad Jew. Yeah. A bad Jew. Okay. Bad Jew. All right, bye. Bad we'll see Jew. You, everybody, I am a bad Jew. Very okay, bad. Bye. No good.